Why is... Oh, no. Something is definitely going wrong. Why now? Here we go. What song? The, uh... Holy Oh Shit, Everything is Breaking song? Because all VTuber streams are always scuffed? I'll be right back. <laughs> Hoggers.
All right, all right. Holy shit. <laughs> 17 minutes. Edge. Edge bed. On. Expose chat. Because that would be very unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. Sorry for the wait. We are here. Woo. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Put on the uh, collar. Price Potato, welcome to the stream. Steel, Villain of Legend. Hey everyone. Sorry once again for the wait. Um, uh, I hope things didn't freeze. Okay, good. I was getting a little paranoid there because we've been having technical issues. Of course, when you start something new for the first time, um, everything just kind of fucks up, right? Oh yeah, it's game time. That's right, put the collar on. You would love me to put some collars on, wouldn't you? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lulz Time Show with your host, Lawler Hicks. It is time for tonight's pilot episode of Femboys and Fight Sticks. The show where a femboy talks to you about fight sticks. However, I'm very self-conscious right now. That's part of the reason why I'm wearing basketball shorts and also... For the first time in forever, we had blue screens. Yeah, who still has blue screens in 2023, right? But apparently I did. And that's in part, I suspect, due to uh, crappy third-party uh, USB extenders. But that's kind of, that's neither here nor there. We are here now. There's better be brand name Abibas. They're brand name something, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> But, um, anyway. So, in this show, we do talk about fight sticks. You know, some of you may remember that I have, uh, modded my Itbitdo fight stick live on, live on stream before. I was going to talk about, to, I was going to take apart the Itbitdo today and talk about that. However, a certain something had just came a certain something had just come in from the land down under. It is none other than my part than uh, my partner Venboy's custom made click box. How custom made you may be asking? Well, check this shit out. It's probably backwards, or maybe it's not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is the click box. This is a hitbox style fight stick. Click box is, our current, is the current working title we got for this. Is the land down under where the bombs come from? Oh, I don't know. You'll have to ask Vimboy that. Vimboy, I do believe that they are calling you a bottom. <laughs> Look into your heart. You know it to be true. Uh, this is made from... Let me go look through here for the... Technical specs because I do not have them in front of me. Um, sure. bruh. But um, they do. I do know that they use K A I L H Kyle Kyle switches something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, there is actually some compared. There are some, a bunch of fight sticks which use what are essentially fancy keyboard switches. Believe it or not, they do, however, add a very nice noise. To the, I'm going to move my mic down here right next to the keyboard so you can hear this raw ASMR. This is the reason why I've not removed the ASMR stream or tag from these from the stream. Actually, I think I did. I don't remember. <laughs> but um. Yes, these are made of Kyle, I use Kyle switches, I believe. The entire thing has, except for the PCB and uh, stuff like, say, the, the um, other, other components like, say, the USB-C ports were obviously not 3D printed, but 
pretty much everything else was. Um, this is made using transparent or using a transparent plastic whose name I forgot. Uh, sure. ABS. This is ABS. So mm -hmm. this uses ABS plastic. I uh, transpit three different transparent colors or two tr different transparent colors. If you look closely, you can actually see the LED that's within inside. It is a nice little red, um, but uh, it basically looks really nice. Um, uh, has this nice little pattern here. I don't know the first thing about 3D printing terms, so you'll have to um, ex excuse my struggle to talk about this uh, fight stick. What the fuck is that set up, my gamer? Oh, also, hello, your friend Reverse is here, currently eating an innocent man alive in the parking lot of a Target. Clearly, you were a bit hungry. This is good to know, Reversed. Um, as someone who is also who also greatly enjoys the taste of man flesh, giggity, giggity, um, I can certainly relate to this revelation. Uh, thank you for joining us this Femboy Friday, this uh, wonderful Femboy Friday, to uh, discuss poorly <laughs> um, this custom-made hitbox style, or is it snackbox style, fight stick, which um, is quite heavy and quite well, and quite durable, or quite actually, I'd say, quite pretty looking for something that's been that was 3D printed. Um, it has been centered down around the edges, however, it also still has retained this nice um, kind of cross-hatching pattern. I could, I feel like, I feel like I'm just getting the scorn of people who do this 3D, who do 3D printing stuff professionally through the screen right now. As I t try to talk about this, um, it uses, I think you said 80, or the uh, switchers are supposed to be 80 grams or something. They don't uh, feel the switches that... are kale, uh, jade. Not excuse me, no. These are the jades. This is the kale low profile uh, navies, navy blues. Okay, so there they you have, have an actuation of uh, actuation force of eighty grams, and they also have a thickened click bar. That's why they're so loud. I only understood about eighty percent of what you uh, said, but that sounds great to me. Um... My they understanding very loud, and they're quite hard to press. You say that, but Much I don't. Satisfaction. I don't know if it's because very I'm. Click. I don't know if it's because my day job involves a lot of angry keyboard pressing, but they don't feel. I was I was afraid that they would be difficult to press, but it seems quite natural to do so. Um, honestly, it and the fact that they are heavy makes them feel. I want. I keep saying the word premium, but there isn't really a better way to describe it. Um, there's this sort of stereotype I find with ma product manufacturing, especially indie product manufacturing, where people have a subconscious association where of something being heavy is subconsciously associated with durability. You definitely feel that from the fact that it's the lead weights that you add to the inside of this device do make it substantially heavier than it first appears. It almost feels as heavy as the 8-bit dough in some ways, even though the 8-bit dough is much wider uh, by comparison. And it's heavier than the 8-bit dough. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, it feels heavier than it's the 8-bit dough. Um, it's, it's exactly 1,380 grams, which is pretty <laughs> much 3 pounds on the dot as well. I think the 8-bit dough is 3 pounds, so that means they're roughly the same weight class, I would say. <laughs> If we could, it seems if, a lot denser. It definitely feels light. It, you wouldn't think that there was like lead pieces. It almost feels like the entire thing is made of lead. I also appreciate how you've managed to balance it so it feel so it gives the illusion that it's actually just a plate in there because most fight sticks actually use a heavy metal plate, usually at the bottom um, of their devices to kind of replicate that um, feel that feeling of it's not going to move around too much. Reverse yeah, card. The, uh, the weights had to be arranged in a way so that it would be, you know, balanced throughout. And they're mm -hmm. glued in with, uh, they're epoxied in so that they don't move. Mm -hmm. So it, it gives you that sense that they're super rigid. But that was the idea. Can I? We couldn't get a whole plate in it because uh, that required a uh, very oddly customized shape and it just wasn't in the production budget. <laughs> 
And even then, I would say this is what we would consider a prototype model, one of a couple prototypes so far. My understanding is that you've already improved in this design uh, by a couple level in a couple ways. Uh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to hear about version two, version two is just in the making at the moment, and there's like, oh, there's so many different. Uh, there's there's so many changes in version two. Yeah, uh, a lot of them are time saving in order to m reduce the cost a bit because with the amount of man hours that goes into this because of all the manual wiring, it is just inhumanely expensive. It's unapproachable in in pricing because of the am uh, the amount of man hours that go into it. And uh, so version two is using a hard PCB uh, in order to well make it more consistent and speed up the process. Version 2 is also using hot swappable uh, Kale Slim uh, sockets. Mm -hmm. So you'll I... be able to switch out your keys or you'll be able to put different keys for different functions, uh, you know, different pressures. You can, you can put a clicky on your jump and uh, linears on your, you know, left, right buttons, whatever you want. So now, the second version is hot swappable. You'll be able to do whatever you want with it. The first batch of buttons that we're getting that we'll be able to sell them with are going to be the jades, as is this one. We're also getting reds, which are the classic reds, but we're also getting super reds, which have an actuation point of only 0 0.12 millimeters. That means as soon as you breathe on them, they actuate. They're the fastest switch that we could actually get. <laughs> so you, you can't even really rest your fingers on them at that point. You're kind of levitating above them because the moment you touch them, they actuate. So, again, we've got a bunch of different switches. Uh, version 2 also has six system buttons instead of two. So you can set up four of them as macros, um, as well as still have, you know, your select and start. Oh, oh my gosh. Other changes? Uh, yes. There's, yeah. there's, a, there's a bunch <laughs> of other under-the-hood changes that are also in place. Um, there's, a, there's a slim version that's very light that you can slip into your pocket, quite literally. It's half the height of this one, it is super thin. And then there is the another version that's identical height to this, it's actually one millimeter taller, um, that has the weights in it again. And there is a more narrow version where the, where the left and right sides are almost right up to the button that actually will come with its own carry box as well, which is the, the special edition. A carry box? So yes, it comes with its own little pelican case, yes. I was also going to ask, it's a good thing that you brought up that you can, when you mentioned that they're hot swappable, you have hot swappable buttons, you're not actually referring to physically taking apart the uh, click box, so you mean just like pulling the buttons off and putting a new one in, right? No, you don't need to open, uh, there's the second version you'll never need to open, just like this one. This one, you, you can open them, but in order to do so, just like uh, opening up, say, a mouse, you're going to have to remove the, the, the pads underneath. Mm-hmm and then re-glue them back on. Or if you're, if you're gentle enough, you should be able to reuse the adhesive, adhesive that's already on it, the non-slip adhesive. But uh, you, you can open it, but you will never actually have to open it in order to get do any kind of modification, unless you want to take the weights out. Which, which is... I probably wouldn't advise, because they're going to be hard glued in. So you would ha have to probably get yourself a spare plate, um, and at that point, you're probably better off just ordering a second click box without weights. Mm -hmm. Quite honestly. It's, uh, but yeah, you'll never have to actually open it or take any screws to it. You just pop the button off kind of like on your keyboard and then take the switch out. Honestly, the um, way it's been arranged, it feels like it's almost one piece, which certainly, at least, certainly adds to the durability, I'd say. Yeah, the top... Uh... On, on the one that you're holding, the top, the entire top shelf is one piece, and then uh, just the bottom flat panel is a second piece that's held in place by uh, six screws. Mm -hmm. And they are using very thick mount points that are heat set with brass heat insets. Mm -hmm. So it is, uh, it's quite rigid. Very rigid. Very and again, rigid. It's ABS, so ABS is quite a strong plastic. It has a soft feel when you first touch it. It feels soft on your fingers, but if you try and scratch it with your fingernails, you know that it's it's much tougher than a fingernail. Definitely. Like say, it has that illusion, like, you know when you hold a piece of soap and you feel like you're going to get your fingernail stuck into it? Mm-hmm. 
it creates that illusion. It's a very soft to touch plastic, but if you uh, yeah, if you try and get rough with it, uh, you've seen a video of me jumping on one of these. It's uh, mm -hmm. you, you're not going to destroy it. It almost I would almost be confident that you could run it over with a car. Almost the buttons might not not survive, but the the chassis would hundred percent survive being driven over by a car. Thankfully, the buttons. I mean, I'm not sure if you're intending on selling the buttons separately too, but it seems, or at least you sent me quite a few of them, which I appreciate. <laughs> when, you're, when you're taking the buttons on and off, uh, if you do, you've got hot swappable switches, there's a very high chance that when you're taking them out of the old switch, you would damage the little stems that they're, they're mounted on. And oh. that's, just the, that's just the problem with uh, the very thin stem and the manufacture process that we're using. Because we're using additive manufacturing through fused deposition. It creates uh, some weak points. So there are two different designs for the button that I've already made, and they are both quite fragile when you're trying to pull them apart. So if you're getting a hot swappable one, you'll probably get a spare set of buttons for when you want to swap a button out, because you'll probably destroy the old one in the process. Yeah. Which isn't such a big deal, because uh, you know a, a button is only, you know, only a few cents, it shouldn't be an issue. But it will break in the process. It's not quite like a keyboard button where you'll be able to take it on and off the stem several times without issues. Because these use two stems, that's what gives them so much stability. They don't use the cherry uh, uh, little uh, cross switch or cross stem. They use the alpine style stem, which mm -hmm. is two rectangular stems. And that's what makes them uh, quite stable. And with the translucent plastic, you can actually see the two stems in the middle. They kind of look like the Super Mario eyes. They kind of do, actually, now that you mention that. I was also going to say <laughs> that um, uh, the way you put replacing buttons seems like it's such an easy thing, but then you, when you consider the price, the typical price of like professional grade component buttons, like say, so I'm not going to rag on Sama because they're still my pride and joy, or still my pride and joy, but um, Sama buttons are like anywhere from a dollar to three dollars each at least to mm -hmm. replace the whole thing now to be fair they're not they're, the chance likelihood of those things breaking is very low uh, by comparison but they are fairly expensive to replace if you get in the habit of breaking some buttons which I hope no one does but um <laughs> well we're using the kale buttons here and the, the switch itself you're not going to break and it's got a huge amount of use I think uh, the 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 reds are rated at somewhere around 70 million clicks. I think the jades might be a little bit lower because of the click bar. I think they've got something like 45 million clicks. It should still last you like abusive daily use for a few years before it starts to become mushy. That's over. That's... And at that point, you can switch out the the switch itself. The only part that I was saying you might damage is the is the keycap. That's the only part that will get damaged. The switch itself won't get damaged in in the process. It's just right. the little stems on the keycap are a bit of a weak point when being removed. If you're gentle enough with it, you can remove it. Uh, that's, but uh, most of the time you will snap them off. It's just the nature of the design. That's also kind of insane that you mentioned that they have 40 to 50 million key presses because a freaking gamer mouse has like is rated for like, what, 20 maybe? At least I'm pretty I, sure my G502 here is button. 20. Yeah. The, the micro switch buttons, which is what most mice use, uh, do about yeah, 20 million clicks before they start to kind of mush. Mm -hmm. They're actually rated for about 45, 50 million, but you'll generally swap them out after about 20 because you'll start to get mushy. I'm kind of wondering if I if it's time to watch, if it's time to replace my own mouse. I've been using this. Uh, this is not a Logitech sponsored stream, but I've been using this mouse like for like years now. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Funny enough, they probably I think I think the Logitech G series actually used to use KL switches before mm -hmm. they switched to their own switches. Interesting. KL does make uh manufacture micro switches. Well, well, it's it's Omron. Hmm. I actually didn't even or I guess Omron does make micro switches. They are the ones that made the switches for Samuel JLF, so I'm don't know why I was I was about to say that like I was surprised, but um, there you have it, folks. Uh, part of the reason why I have Vin Boy here is is because of course he's the one or he's the one that created this uh, uh, fight stick. They 
made one of the sent one of the prototypes to myself and I am eternally grateful. It also had great timing. This literally came in this morning, so that's when I knew. Uh yeah, we're gonna change stream a little bit. It did take a little bit a little bit of time to set it up on to use with Strive because Steam did not no, did not um detect it immediately, but it was a non issue to get it working. And now it's pretty much functions the same way as any other fight stick. Um, so yeah, this uh, I always want. I thought I I obviously thought of the term femboys and fight sticks first before thinking of what I'm going to do with this phrase. Besides, I thought it was a cute name, but um, I was always hope since I'm kind of growing an obsession here with collecting fight sticks, of which I have acquired um, yet another one when I went to a convention when I visited a convention over here. It's happening in my city just today. Um, uh, I kind of thought it would be cool to basically talk about to talk about these fight sticks because they're a very fascinating subject um obviously they're connected with the fighting game genre but they can also be used for um, other games as well that's part of the reason why they're not necessarily called fight sticks when you buy them they're often called just referred to as arcade sticks or in this case this is what you would consider what you would call a um leverless stick i believe uh, a uh, a fight a fight board there's a everyone is kind of making up their own terms for these sort of th for these things uh especially since this uh, leverless type fight stick is still relatively new hitbox was kind of the, the one game that controller. the game controller yeah um actually i guess this is it's not it's not obviously i don't think people would look at this and call it a pad when they, when people think of game pads they think of your you know typical xbox playstation Nintendo controller controllers, but um, I guess this would be the padish pad that there is. Um, back in the day, back when before they had analog sticks attached to everything, it kind of feels like we're returning to monkey, and um, the fighting game community is struggling to come to terms with that since there are people who continue to insist that these somehow give you an unfair advantage. I'm not sure. I still feel like it's still kind of more up to user preference, although I cannot help but to feel that. It is definitely, it's definitely more, it's definitely feels second nature for some reason to play, may play Strive using this. I don't know if that's because I used to play fighting games mostly with keyboard before going to levers, before coming back to this. Um, so... It's very popular amongst people who play games like um, Super Mario Maker. Mm -hmm. They and love these controllers. But funny uh, you say that these give an advantage to uh, competitive players. Because not sure if you've seen the article from coming out from Street Fighter mm -hmm. just they, uh... two weeks ago. They have rewritten the rules for input shaping, and well, they're trying to they're trying to set a standard for the entire industry, mm -hmm. and they want the standard to be software controlled. They want the analog controls to go through as they are on the hardware, completely unshaped, and then the game to do the shaping for you, and that way. Every developer can decide themselves what they want, rather than the hardware doing it for them. And Which, that takes all the questioning um, just out of the picture. And you know, I feel like that's fair. The game developers get to, or should be, or more or less get to decide how their game is, or how the game mechanics work in their particular game. Um, in particular, I don't think the changes that they made to the hitbox to nerf it are that mean. It's mostly. They're basically, at least from what I skimmed, from what I read, my understanding is is that it's not too different from how um, these are designed to work when you push left and right already. When you push them both at the same time, it's just neutral. And I think that they want it to be so that if you push up and down, it also becomes neutral. So you can't just hold down one of the buttons and automatically just let go of one and push um push like one of the attack buttons to automatically do a shoryuken, a DP or a similar move. Which is funny too because not too long ago there is a device called the Antagonist. Um, it's a add-on that you attach to leverless controllers which is marketed as now you could have hitbox functionality for your lever controllers and it basically functions sort of the same way. Basically how it works is you attach it to a lever stick and you program one of your buttons to the antagonist. And I believe you like hold down, when you're holding one direction on the lever, you hold down 
the button that's attached to the attack that's uh attached to the antagonist and you let go of the lever but you hold continue to hold down the button for the antagonist and it basically uh swings the move out immediately much as if you were doing the same thing with a arcade stick um at least that's what i gleaned from scanning it i could probably just get a i could probably just bring it up really quick actually it's, I saw it on Etsy, because Etsy, for some reason, has become a hotbed for FightSick and FightSick products. So as you already see here, you can see that I was snooping around with uh, one of these tiny hitbox-style ty fight sticks, the um, so-called so Fightboard MX. The one I was thinking of was this one, though. The I know Buttercade was selling them. But I think they may have sold out. I don't know if they restocked yet. Or maybe they just removed it from their store entirely because of the Capcom changes. That's strange. Ah, here it is. The Antagonist 2.0, which is this little board here. This tiny thing. That you somehow attach to your fight board. And uh, according to them... You're holding back on your lever to charge a sonic boom. While charging, press the button attached to this device and your desired strength punch button, and out comes a boom with instant charging resuming via the lever. And you can do the same with a flash kick. It kind of makes me curious now, actually, if they're going to still keep selling these because of the Capcom changes, since now I can only assume... If I'm, if I'm understanding this correctly, as compared with the changes they made to... Hey, Capcom's make uh, the changes Capcom's making to the games. I'm curious if this would no longer be tournament legal. Um, Probably not. Pr I'm assuming not. At the same time, I'm obviously biased. I don't feel like this creates too much of an advantage. Le pay to win, le pay, pay 45 bucks to uh, play May better and strive than other players or something like that, <laughs> or what have you, but that was something I was thinking of as Capcom announced their changes, whether um, these devices which were made to so-called level, level the playing field between hitboxes and lever boxes, uh, whether these would cease to exist as a result since these were created in response to hitbox style stuff but yeah um i think i've pretty much ranted enough about that so um i'm not I think the thing that pressed the most or pushed the most buttons I -O. with the <laughs> with the hitbox was the fact that you can't hold down well hold down down and then press jump and jump without letting go of down. Mm -hmm. I think that was literally the number one biggest complaint with people that do play hitbox because they've developed a just a feel for it. <laughs> Cause, and, and that's really just a laziness thing. I, I don't see that being a problem with cheating. It's kind of a laziness thing. Cause I could see myself doing something like that too. Yeah, Where you me just too. can't be bothered taking one button off and then hitting the next one because you know it goes through. And uh, the same thing happens with left and right. I also on which one was pressed first, and not really an advantage, but you know, I kind of what they want to do. I sort of feel that way too, especially with the left right stuff, just because, especially when I'm playing as May, and when I was using, I know Sype was doing this with keyboard too, and lever also. Sometimes um, I would miss with a Tatsugeki, and then the my opponent would jump over me, or basically our dodge the Tatsugeki in some manner, and I would without meaning to immediately do a Tatsugeki in the opposite direction, like, as soon as they switch sides, which I could see some people kind of balking at, but that's not something that I intentionally meant to do. That's something that's a, ma a matter of panic or a matter of me simply not removing my finger from the button or not removing, not resetting lever to neutral. So it's like... Uh, Steel says, it makes flash kicks much easier, but then again, down plus up being neutral makes other inputs easier as well. So yeah, it's basically Capcom more or less trading one system for another system and then determining which one they feel is more fair than the other. I mean... I guess so. I guess it is kind of arbitrary at the end of the day, really. 
And well, in some the way... click box is currently set to be neutral. If you press up, down, or left and right at the same time, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. It just sends out zilch. But you can change that uh, by flipping a zero to a one, which anybody can do. It actually it's just, uh, using the Arduino coder, uh, which is free. Anyone can download it. Just switch, and it is documented in the. Uh, there's an annotation next to it in in the code uh, when you open it. So even if you're not code savvy, you'll see it there. <laughs> it just says when pressing both left and right, do you want the input to be neutral? And it says yes, no. Change the yes to a no, and yeah, anybody can do it. And it actually made me wonder. Like, I don't. I'm kind of curious how these tournaments, how Evo, etc., are going to check these devices anyway. Because I'm glad that they're not just saying, "Oh, we're going to ban them." Period. Because that would be fucking stupid. Well, um, you can have the you can have the referee walk around and just press the two buttons on your clipboard as he walks past. If something happens, that is true. Or nothing and, happens. It's, it's it's a pretty simple test, right? It only takes two fingers. I suppose so, but. Also, but then I'm also thinking like, what about stuff like my Itpito, which has, um, which has, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Has macro, Multiple has, mode? has uh, programmable macro buttons, which I don't use oh. and they're kind of out of the way. And you could also switch, you literally switch the inputs at the top using the dials. So I'm just wondering if I were to go to Evo with that, are they going to be like, oh, sorry, you can't use that stick because it could be, po it could possibly be used for cheating or are they just going to... Because I noticed that with professional fight sticks, there's actually a button you can press which turns off some of the functions of your controller, so you can't, quote-unquote, accidentally uh, cheat. But I, at the same time, hmm. they're, they're, kind of, they're not exactly hidden, but they're also not exactly obvious. So, what? It's not like the cameraman's going to zoom in and watch your keys like they do with professional rhythm game, or rhythm game stuff, which I thought was interesting. It's not like they're going to zoom in on your gamepad or on your controller to make sure you're not pushing the i win button or anything like that i talk what i would talk to the guy that plays with the steering wheel i feel like if someone wants to play with a steering wheel or play with that one fight stick that had three levers in it you should totally let them do that fuck it man they're playing with a handicap <laughs> oh the pain box or the pain box <laughs> Uh, Steel says, I'd like, I had talked to the TOs about, the rule change is only for Capcom Cups right now. Regulations are different from turning to turning. That's, that's also, that's also fair. It's not very different from actual martial arts tournaments, honestly. Um, it's just a matter of... It might take of, a while to adapt, uh, to be adapted by everybody else. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this, uh, Femboys and Fight Six thing every Friday. It could be fun to do it every Friday, but at the same time, I'm going to probably run out of stuff to talk about if I do it every Friday. Maybe once uh, a just, month. Just link your PO box, everybody. Send sticks. Y yeah, I could. I, I was, maybe I could just, um, <clears throat> it, I, I could just totally, uh, shill my throne because I actually do have a throne. If you ever want to send me a fight stick to review, <laughs> I feel, I feel fucking terrible, but at the same time, this was going to happen eventually, right? <laughs> uh, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. I need to. I need to have those coded into the bot, so I don't need to just. Uh, I'll just go ahead and manually go to my throne. Uh, throne dot me. Uh, lost. I think this is my throne. This apparently I don't exist, chat. Uh. Because I'm dumb, and for some reason I decide to put my throne under Lulz net. Yo, if you got a P.O. box, I got presents for you. I.O. So, I mean, I already, I kind of have a random assortment of stuff on my uh, throne right now, but I do have some fight sick parts, as you can see here. I got um, this uh, Sanwa Denshi JFLD, which is basically a detachable um, lever. Got a... a um, Fight sick bag that you use to carry on your fight sticks without them being destroyed. Uh, got a little fight board here, and I also got this uh, vintage street cider for Mad Cat's fight sick. I think that's Mad Cat's, isn't it? Yeah, that's a Mad. That's a old tournament edition Mad Cat's. Old Cytec. Mm-hmm. I actually do have an old Cytec uh, flight stick, believe it or not. But uh, we haven't played flight simulator games in a while, so when I do, I'll probably pull it out again. But um.
I digress. Um, I actually have quite an assortment of fight sticks that we can use as fodder. Uh, I will actually go ahead and be posting uh, posting these in a list form in a poll probably on all my social medias including Discord and Twitter and uh, Mastodon. So if you would like, if there's one a particular one you would like to see during the next Finboy and Fight Sticks uh, episode go ahead and you can feel free to vote on that and I will arrange them in the order that they are voted for. Among them are a Ori Fight Stick Mini, a Mad Cats Tournament Edition 2 Plus, a Frankenstein Hitbox, which I purchased, which is a custom device that I purchased, that I got from an eBay seller. Uh, it's basically a hitbox that was converted into a lever action. I like saying lever action, even though these are not guns, just because it rolls off the tongue so well. Lever action the Fight Stick. And of course, there is my 8 bit do, which is also heavily modified with a combination of auto parts and also auto parts and also some freak mod parts. And last but not least, um, today at a local convention, there is there's actually a local company in my city that makes modified game pads and fight sticks, and they are selling a heavily modified. Kanba, uh, Kwanba, is it Kwanba or Kanba? Kwanba, that I picked up, which is a secret to Ave one, but I did post a um, <clears throat> a clue as to what kind of fight stick, what's so different about this modified fight stick on the VTuber fighting game Discord, so they have a slight hint as to what's special about this one. Uh, those of you who are followed me from that server will probably remember that I posted pictures alluding to f a certain kind of fight stick uh, last year when I went to this convention as well. But um, I also have to make sure that that's not going to get me banned from Twitch. I'm fairly sure it won't, given uh, the sorts of things people post on Twitch, but we'll see. So um, yeah, we got quite a few fight sticks here to review and to talk about later when I start modifying things again. I'll also use this... A show to talk about mods because I'm really passionate about modifying things and taking things apart and tinkering with stuff. So if any of y'all are interested in also looking under the hood of your device, uh, that will hopefully be of some use to you. Toylan, welcome to the stream. Congratulations on reaching floor 10 on day three of using a fight stick. <laughs> it's like nine days, isn't it? Uh, good luck on doing the Celestial Challenge if you haven't started yet. Um... So we were uh, Toilan, We were just uh, finishing up talking about our finishing up uh, the first segment of tonight's stream, where we are doing Femboys and Fight Sticks, talking about my uh, significant others here, um, Fight Stick that is going to be on the product lineup of their new company, newly created company, Ventec Applications, which specializes in 3D printed devices such as, uh, in no particular order, Fight Sticks. Um, I'm using a leap motion controller holder or collar holder right now, which is a vast improvement over that uh, other leap motion controller holder I was using. And also VR, uh, slime tracker VR, uh, full body tracking trackers. <laughs> Fight sticks are kind of off. They really. Um, I'm afraid of calling Fight Six off because I don't want to. I don't want anyone. To get in the habit of being of blaming the tools over the user, I am a firm believer that it is not the tools that make the uh, player; it is the player themselves, the player's own technique and skill. Although I Wait, must say, can't blame the tools. If I, I can't blame the tools, what else am I going to blame? Uh, Myself. Yeah, that you could oh, blame the God. game, or you could blame Ishikawa Daisuke, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's funny too, but I'm, I. Before I left the convention today, because I had to head home and obviously uh, stream for all y'all, uh, I tried to play. I tried to play Strive on a PS on a PS3 controller, and oh my god, it was it felt alien. I haven't played a game use a gamepad in literally that years. Happened to me too. And Such I'm a sore thumb. I'm so glad that the people who were there to play fighting games, no one stopped by to play with me because I was. I was I kind of embarrassed myself. I I played for a little bit. I tried to force myself to learn uh, to play gamepad because I thought, well, I know. Maze move sets. I know her combo, her basic combos. I should be able to adapt to this really easily. And then they couldn't. And I'm like, um, yeah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow with an act with one of my fight sticks instead. 
because there are people there with modified five sticks and shit and like there's there was this dude he had one of those uh fish fear me or fish or uh, women hate or women or fish want me women hate me hats and he was wearing this hawaiian shirt that had guilty gears drive characters on it instead of flowers which is the funniest shit ever and oh my God. you could tell i could tell that if if not a pro pro fighting game player he was at least a massive enthusiast because the fight stick was heavily modified and he was playing another person who had a heavily modified heavy heavily modified it looked like a snack box i'm fairly sure it was a snack box anyway it had the same design and other people there with all clients of cool shit because so there is a kind of a there's kind of a modest fighting game a fighting tourney scene here in the midwest uh at least over here across the river from uh, Chicago, where they're going to be having Combo Breaker next month, which is a fighting, which is a fighting game uh, convention of sorts. But uh, yeah, after playing with Fight Stick for so long, I, I, I think I think I'm kind of married to Fight Sticks now. So, <laughs> um, Fight Sticks are kind of up. I was playing on a sharp D pad, and my thumb was ripped up. Oh. Is that one of those metal D-pads? I noticed that people are modifying. Did you know they they have they sell modifications for Xbox controllers now? You can you can buy like a metal D-pad and metal metal uh, buttons or something like that. Um, Scarlet's Tumblr says blame the beast. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting blamed all the time. Uh, I have a thick layer of callus in my thumb, and that's dedication. There's a guy that gets on the Evo main stage with a stock PS4 controller. Don't worry, as long as you're comfortable. Back to the void. Oh, well, uh, thanks for stopping by, Toylon. I was about to say, um, now that I've spent the past hour or so ranting about fight sticks, um, I was planning on opening up, uh, planning on opening up the evening to some Strive open lobbies, if anyone would like to join. I'll be attempting to use the, or the, the click box to play. I did do a little bit of, pra a little bit of demo practice prior to stream when we were trying to solve Technical issues. A solid layer of callus. You also prefer not having finger ripped up with a D-pad. <laughs> if the servers work, Lamau, I know, right? The Kuro was playing on Strive earlier today, and he says that floors 7 through 9 are functioning fairly consistently, so, you know, who knows? But I'm also suspecting that network latency has something to do with it because the other day I tried to play Strive with a European and they we could not connect so we switched to Zard and when we switched to Zard I had to change my settings again because apparently they couldn't join my game because their latency was too high and I don't I mean I guess people I play with regularly don't have the best internet either but they don't have the worst internet either, so who knows? Oh, there's actually an update. They had a news update. I saw that. They said that they identified what the main issue was, and they said that they're for sure that the issue is the crossplay is what's fucking them over. But, um... Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and do that thing that some fighting game streamers do, where they just put a tiny version of their... of their... Uh, a, ti a tiny, tiny, tiny version of their, um fight stick in the corner while they stream the game that they're playing. I'm going to go ahead and pop on Strive now. And we'll set up some lobbies. News update was shit still fucked. Hey, you know what? I'd rather have a news update telling me that things are still fucked than no news at all. And just aimless speculation, right? Guilty Gear Strive. And Vimboy, of course, you're more than welcome to... Uh... Actually, Vimboy, let's go ahead and switch to the main server voice chat now, so that if people want to hang out with us, they can. They're addressing that the issue is what they thought it was. Mm -hmm. 
And kind of, you know what, I think I'm gonna try something that may be sacri might be considered sacrilege. In fact, I'm fairly sure someone's gonna think it's sacrilege because... I don't think anyone does this. I could be wrong. Let me know if I am. In the comments below. Oh, I should also uh, switch the stream information to reflect that we are now playing Guilty Memes, huh? So yeah, the uh, thing that I'm going to do, which is sacrilege to some, is I'm going to actually... Yes. That's right, chat. I'm playing inverted mode. I'm using the big button for down and the middle button for up. Like some sort of disgusting pseudo... What? Oh. I am fucking dumb. That's not going to work for a lot I... of things for you. Yeah, I just realized, I don't know why it didn't occur to me why they set things like that up on purpose. Because now, now I can't fucking... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm dumb. This is too awkward. <laughs> trying to, tr trying to play... <laughs> yeah. Well, that uh, lasted, that lasted uh, a fairly lengthy amount of time, I would say, chat. You had a specifically custom moved thumb button. Half a button length to the left to make it easier for you to jump. And now you're trying to take it away. Because I was thinking to myself, well... You weren't thinking. You weren't I wasn't thinking. thinking at all. Because I, was, I, I forgot that some of my moves, in fact all my moves, you know, require the, pos the position that they are in. It's just to do them. Like the freaking... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That, that was that was fucking stupid. Yeah, I, I put it back already. It's just oh, did you? <laughs> I didn't even see you do it. I put it. Well. I put it back immediately because it was impossible to do. I I can't fucking do anything. Do any of the and my any of my moves if I had yeah. set up like that. It well, might, if you try and think about it too much when you're first switching from stick, you might have all these funky ideas running through your head. But after like an hour, it just yeah, it all disappears. Also, let me, um, I feel like I should, I need to play with this on my lap to most appreciate it. But if I do that, um, chat can't see me pressing my buttons, can they? So, well, the things we have to do. Anyway. All right. Here we go. When so, I there we go. my desk, I just elevate my chair as high as it will go to sort of put myself above it. I'm used to playing on my lap game. nowadays, unfortunately, but... Well, I mean, the underside of the click box is non-slip and padded, so it's good yeah. for either, either legs or the disc. Anyway, let's go ahead and make ourselves a lobby. Option three is cock cam. Uh, this is not Picartu, so unfortunately there will be no cocks this evening. Actually, I don't know if cock is allowed on... Uh, draw, 2D drawn illustrated cocks are perfectly fine on Picardo, but I don't think realistic ones are. Oh no, I, I've seen people on Picardo doing all sorts of very creative things. 
You can be nude on Picardo? Oh, yeah. Really? I've hmm. seen people painting and, like, doing things undressed. Oh, you see the painting shit on Twitch all the time, even if Twitch claims that they're supposed to be family friendly. Winter, welcome to the stream. No, no, I mean, Happy Fenboy Friday. Is not dressed. Oh, yeah, the artist is not is not dressed in the slightest. <laughs> 383318. Uh, Steel or Vemboy, can you please pin the room code for me? Por favor. Happy Femboy Friday! Thank you. Uh, how are you tonight, Winter? Tonight we are doing Femboys and Fight Sticks. We just finished the Femboys and Fight Sticks section and now we're playing some Strive. You are more than welcome to join us if you would like. I think it's morning where you're at, right? Uh, good morning, good morning. I'll need to move the room code uh, somewhere else because it will not be seeable. Let's put it over here. There we go. Yeah, it's morning and I'm melting in the heat. Oh no. Uh, don't melt too fast now. Mm -hmm. The responsive? I still can't get over the fact that this is stupidly responsive. Oh, yeah. I always... I feel like... This between this and also the other the other fight six I have for some reason they all feel more responsive than the eight bit dough does and I don't know if it's just because the eight bit dough's PCB is weaker or because it was designed for the switch and just happens to work on PC or what do you notice that too? Oh, uh, the eight bit is painfully slow. Yeah. Even with the mods and before the mods it was even slower. With the Sunway mods it was it's much faster but it's. It doesn't compare to this. This is, uh, like, yeah. unbelievably fast. So it's not just me, then. It really is just the Epito has inferior PCB. I don't know if because... that's the problem with the PCB. I highly hmm. doubt it. You don't think so? The I servers are... Thing. I think they're improving. At least I've been able to get games. I'm, I could consistently get ranked games and games with friends, but I wasn't able to play with a European friend just recently. As you can see here, Vemboy and I were able to get into this lobby just fine. <laughs> Again, I do, these things are wildly responsive. Yeah, it's kind of disturbing how responsive they are. <laughs> nice and... Mm -hmm. Plus they, they click so hard, so... This is really... I said this before when we were testing out before the stream, but it feels... It's kind of in the same way like how... When you eat food, and you have a variety of... And there's like several sensations to food, aside from taste, right? Smell, sight, taste, and all... There's also texture. Uh, sometimes adding crunchy or... Uh, crunchy foods to oh, certain dishes will actually make them more enjoyable because they're more fun to eat because of the variety of sensations that you experience and i feel i think this is also the same theory behind why there's something about keyboards where everyone individually customizes the keyboards to meet their own needs depending on the sound and the feel the actuation force etc 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 and i feel the same thing can be said of fight sticks and especially um Hitbox, our loverless style fight six. This is very comfortable, very soft to, to to the touch. The clicky noise is very fun to listen to, very loud. It feels responsive. It feels like I don't need to. And also, I mean, what else more is there to say? I'm. I don't know if it's because of the way I'm holding my hands, but I think I'm starting to get understand what you meant by my fingers are starting to get tired from pressing these <laughs> because of the weight. Not yeah, that I mind. You, you probably try and thud into them because, well, they click so hard, so you sort of work with it. It's fun, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not going to wear you out, but it, it might be a little bit more fatiguing than, you know, what you're used to. Especially when compared to something like a Sunwell, which doesn't give you any feedback and is super soft. 
I'm sure I will also, my hands will have a little bit less strain when I start playing this with as normally, which is to say on my lap as opposed to on the desk. So I'm not used to playing with my arms kind of like leveled like this. Hmm. Like, you can't see it because, or see it from the angle with which I set up the webcam, but, um, uh, I play with my armrests basically curved inwards so that I could fit my whole, all my limbs, my uh, arms underneath them and place them, just rest them on the fight stick itself. But right now I'm mm. playing with the, my elbows resting on the armrests themselves and my hands on top of the, uh, click box, which is significantly different. But enough talk. Once again, uh, chat, if you would like to join us, the uh, room code is up. Um, let me know if you're able to join. Worst case scenario, we'll just have Vimboy make another server somewhere in Oceania, since Oceania seems to have the least problems for some reason. And without further ado, shall we fight like, uh, like fuckboys? <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Left, left or right? Eh, no difference. All right. Do, 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 do. The same wise. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Push the stick that pushes back and feel your pain. Kill your friends. Guilt free. Steel has entered the room. Welcome to the come zone, Steel. You know what I just also realized? Um, it's a lot easier to do dashes just by clicking left and right as opposed to using the dedicated dash button. It's... I think what's happening though is, um... Hmm. When I want to put... When I want to push up, um, my brain is looking for the other buttons to push it, right? Oh. Ayo? No! Oh, wow, nice. Wow. 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 Ow. Get off, get off me. Yeah, you know what? I might have to rebind the uh, dedicated dash button to punch or something because I keep wanting to dash using the dedicated dash button, but there's no point because I can literally just click left and right super fast and it'll do the same action for... Well, I don't know. Some people might disagree with that. Some people might be like, well, you're better off using a dedicated dash button anyway. But um, I still hmm. use the dash button. It's just that I do it on my very top right button, which is my pinky. So, like, my pinky's pretty much only doing dashes. Oh! I just popped into that dolphin. It is... me Doing maze combos is just stupidly... I don't... It's different. <laughs> it feels... It feels like I don't need to try as hard as what I do with a lover, and I don't know if that's just... Well, I mean... You saw earlier that I only just recently started to do her bread and butters fairly consistently, and that's only a recent development because out of sheer practice, but um... Also... I don't know if it's because I can't... I... Can't switch my brain to... Uh, switch to um... I can't switch my brain to pushing the big button to jump up as easily as I used to, but um, I'm having a hard time. I keep wanting to do jump dash, and I can't jump dash, so eh, it's probably just a practice thing. Oh, 
That was so close. Frip. Oh, is that double? Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Jeez. You won by a sliver <laughs> of health. So yeah, this is definitely a learning. I'll definitely need to relearn how to play. This is the first time I ever used a hitbox style fight stick. But you could really, I could really tell that the difference in like the style a game a gameplay is both familiar and yet alien to me. As a former keyboard player. I keep wanting to WASD, but I can't WASD because this is not a mix box. But beyond that, I could get used to this. This is very comfortable to use. It's a different I'm... feel, but it's so it's so snappy. Mhm. Mm you kind of have to go slower with it. Mhm. Mm Ow. You let me out of the cage! Damn it, Vimboy. Okay, uh, so I'm like trying- I'm trying to- There we go. I'm trying to do oh. air dash. Ah! Ow. That, that that felt exceedingly easy to do, just because of the way this. It might also be the actuation, the uh, because of the. Oh, you the like that one? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good actually. <laughs> Problem. Oh, what? There's yep. no way you got that. There's there's absolutely no shot. That's not a I, thing. I joke. That's not a thing. I think it was just the timing. I just happened to... Yeah, but you were in the middle of a... Like, it was my turn. Mm. Oh, not happened? anymore, it's not. <laughs> Why did the screen go black? Huh? Oh, I think I just got rolled back like half a universe. The screen went black for like... Maybe a good three seconds? Hey, Steel. Did oh, it? Uh, I mean, it's, it seems fine on my end. For a moment there, I was afraid that the game was freezing... Or that my computer is freezing again. Ah! You know what I think is fucking me up? I I'm using I'm con I think I'm trying to activate the big button with my I keep hitting the big button with my right thumb and not my left thumb. Uh, let me try playing uh, it with. Yeah, because your your button's slightly rearranged. If yeah. you're using the the perfectly centered one, it's a bit easier. But a lot of people do play with both the thumbs on the jump button. Kind of like oh, like a space button okay. where you would have both your thumbs on it. So a lot of people do play that way. That's why the button is so big. Well, I've got room for both your th buttons, so you you can decide which one feels more comfortable to you. See, I use I I do all my slashes with my thumb. Mm -hmm. So my thumb on my right side is already preoccupied, so my left one is only for jumping. What I want to do is how I have it set up right now. You can see on the screen. Um, my left thumb is on the big button for spacebar, and my middle finger is on the down key and my right thumb yep. is on dash but I think it's confusing me because oh you know why it's because when I used to play keyboard I didn't use my thumbs period like at all oh mm -hmm. I didn't use my left thumb at all so my left thumb is not used to it's not used to this but I used to use my middle finger for up and down so it's probably just my brain needing to be rewired basically also hey steel yep. didn't see you pop in there I think he just disconnected no, oh, did he? <laughs> you like that one? Ah! Rip. Maybe he was having mic issues? Uh, I'm not sure. Because he's Oof. in, I think he is in the, uh, in fact, I saw him enter the room, the lobby, so... Oh! 
yeah, the reaction is just fucking tight with the click box. It's... There's... Yeah, it's very aggressive. It's... I feel like I'm fighting more aggressively with the click box and with the other fight six than I am with the 8-bit do. Oh, he left the uh, room too. Rip. He left everything. I think he disconnected. Maybe his internet died. Maybe, because I'm like, where'd you go? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Connection yeah, issues. Aw. Oh, there we go. Well, feel free to join up again, because I saw you enter the lobby. Like, it actually it showed up, it showed on screen that you're entering the lobby. And you clearly were able to join the Discord, so it must be just internet, internet issue issues. Issue issues? Issue issues. Issue issues? <sighs> For a moment there, I was kind of afraid that this was going to restrict my airflow and I'd have breathing issues, but it, does, it seems to be fairly comfortable. Um, I might have well, to re-loosen it. Yeah, I'll have to adjust the... I've already loosened it up a lot, but um, I'll have to raise the leap motion thing in VC face a little bit up because it seems like my con the fuck yeah I'll have to adjust that later for now um well I thought you yeah. have to adjust the length of the arm the other thing that I do for height a lot of the time is one is you can hold your while looking forward you can hold your hand up perfectly in line with your leap motion then you get your height right mm -hmm. and then hold it up to your eyeball and then you can you can check it that way as well. So then you can see where your you know where your height is. Yeah, I think I saw uh, Nar Narvi do that. She used to she would basically check uh, whether her in game if whether her three D finger matched her. Uh, if she she would like put her finger on her face and she would make sure the three D finger matched on her face where it was on the character, etc. Hmm. etc. Yeah, similar idea I guess. Okay. So, uh, more video? Thinking about it. Thinking. Mm. Just gonna top up my drink real quick. Yeah, take Need your time. Water. Need water. I think I will take a Hydrate Redeem as well.
Let's do some quick Duolingo classes while we're waiting, chat. Onegaishimasu. Oh my god, it's way too loud. Onegaishimasu. Onegaishimasu. Onegai. Welcome back to a stage of destiny. Back, I've been here, like, ages. Ages? How many ages? I don't know. Ages. Were you here since the third age? I think so. Are you? I don't remember. <laughs> Near to Gandalf. What? 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 Zivot. Zivo. Do 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 or whatever the fuck that song was. <laughs> Okay, so let me go ahead and finish this up really quick. You know what? I think this time when I try to upload this to YouTube, I should probably do some ba Babby's first video editing. Thankfully, video I did show I did show this as the pilot episode, so to speak. So it's okay if it's a little bit jank, and by a little bit, I mean super jank. I I apologize to everyone for starting so late this evening. <laughs> But I'm also glad that we the freezing seems to have the freezing and blue stream seems to have stopped. I'm fairly sure it was because of that uh, trying to shove all that stuff onto a exter onto a uh, extended USB because it's definitely not the fights that are causing it. It's not the components. Do 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 do. Mm. I decided to do the rocking exercise only twice a week too, because my limbs are starting to... They're actually perting and not in a good way <laughs> right now from the... Damn it. Now. Let me out of this cage! And I'm doing just fine. Do -do 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 -do. Gotta carry on. My wayward son. I don't know the song. Oh! Ha! Damn it. I keep wanting to. That's it. You know what? I'm gonna play it like this. I'm gonna turn the fight stick to the side. That didn't help. <laughs> Treat it like a keyboard. I'm trying. <laughs> but I'm so used to using WASD keys that my brain is has this horrible, horrible well, lag time no, well, of trying stop to adjust. Think, stop thinking of it like you're playing WASD fight game. Think like you're playing an FPS. Just put yourself in FPS mode. Because then you're jumping with your thumb. That's all you have to do. We're that playing is... FPS now. This is, this is FPS May. Okay, FPS May. That sounds now. That sounds like a username of all time. <laughs> all right, let's go. FPS May. All right, all right, all right. FPS. Yeah. I'm going to. Um, all right. Uh, I'm trying to channel in my my inner FPS Doug. I don't even know if kids today know who FPS Doug is or is or was. Oh, too quick. Your timing is all wonka doodles. I'm not used to you playing like that. Because I don't. It's I'm too quick. Slow down. Yeah, there's like no. It's almost like my power. This is how I felt about you when you started playing with the click with your click box for the first time. I just thought it's almost like Vimboy took off his weights. It's like it's like your power limiters were removed and you're playing the way you were always meant to play. Fuck. Uh, what did FPS Doug used to say? He used to be like, Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Alright, I'm gonna FPS me. Activate. Ow, 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 ow! Ow. Out. Damn it. 
Breen. Breen, stop. For fuck's sake. Okay. Okay, I understand. I understand what I'm trying to do now. I... not really. I don't know how I managed to pull it off, given that I can barely fucking use the up button right now, but okay. This is giving me PTSD to back to the days when I had trouble doing up dolphin consistently. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> Down is up, motherfucker! Oh my god, brain! You saw you saw that right now just right or just now right? You rolled back. Fra you, 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 you frame rolled back to my uh, my super, my killing machine. But you saw where I clearly looks like I wanted to move forward and I just sort of stopped in mid uh, stopped like in the middle of wa my walking animation right? Yeah, what were you doing? That was me thinking my that was my brain going okay I want to dash so I push dash and also up at the same I want to I wanted to do an air dash so I push dash and then. My brain was like, wait, why am I not dashing? And oh, recently... Yeah, yeah, air dashes are probably the hardest thing to get used to because, yeah, I, yeah I'm still struggling with that concept as well. Because it's like... Because, uh, yeah, because it, in order to air dash, I have to do up... I have to do left thumb, but uh, left thumb, and then right thumb, which you don't do with either keyboard or with lever. So it's like, it's an extra step that... Uh, and... Yeah. The, it's... It's just, it's a, it's practice. I, I'm too new to the uh, hitbox, to the uh, click box, to effectively do anything that involves the air. I do the same thing though with air dashes. Air dashes are, are hard. I still haven't quite figured them out. And I'm trying to fucking do up dolphin, and I can't consistently do. You're trying to do up dog. Yeah, I'm trying to do up dog. It's... Oh... Up just then, I was trying to do dash, not fucking... Oh my god. This game is gonna kill me. <laughs> ah! Ow. Illegal. Oh. Ah! Could get command grabbed. <laughs> that is something I like. I like the fact that command grabs are so much easier with the click box. It's not even funny. No, damn it. Frick. Frick and frack. Don't they suit? Ayo, Gazamas. <laughs> Are you ready? I can't believe I'm doxing myself by showing everyone my cute spider spider hands. Oh no, you're gonna identify Your me hands? using the scars on my hands. Oh no. Oh no. You heard that there was a VTuber to whom that actually happened, right? Where someone identified them and doxed them using their hands? 
It's kind of fucked up. I, I think it's happened to a lot of people. Yeah, that's the reason why people use gloves when they use their, uh, when they show their hands in stream now, right? Mm -hmm. Bruh, that's illegal. You're not allowed to... to... Game, please, fuck! Damn it. Freaking Zelda music playing. No! I wanted to jump, oh, game! Well, what are these <laughs> not the What the fuck? It's not footsies, it's me wanting to jump. God damn it. I want to ch God. <laughs> What the what? F Oh my god! <laughs> There's no shot that, that you just unglued that. That's, that's just the power of fucking of the click box, man. It's so fast. It's moving before I could... It's, I'm moving faster than... It predicts my, what you're thinking. My hands are moving faster than my brain can keep... <laughs> oh no, you rolled back my super! I, I already let go of the, of the uh, controller too, because I was like, oh, I got him. Nope. Uh, hello? What's going on? Why can't I... Oh, there it goes. Ah! Meanie. Problem. Oh, you blocked it. Ow, shit, fuck. Overhead, the stick and ball. God damn it. Fimboy. No. Fuck! Wow. You didn't even let me get no up! From a oh my god! Whew. I didn't and even know you bonus. could. What was that? A freaking wake up yo yo or some shit? Well, no, I wasn't positive. Hmm. Kill your friends. Bruh. Bruh. Hacking the game using your click box. Oh my god. Wait, what? I'm just freaking always in canon. Oh mode. my god, stop. You piece of shit. <laughs> Went to. Oh my fucking god. This is what it feels like to be stuck in a slide fest from you. I'm going to freaking. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. I deserve that. Have a hug. Oh the my god. Battle and hug. I'm gonna give you a freaking hug. Get a. God damn it, Ben Boy. Ow. My... Oh my god. No, why won't I orca? For fuck's sake. Literally hacking the game. <laughs> oh my god. Re. Get away from me. Get Re. your corpse out of here. Re. <laughs> Kill your friends. Guilt free. Problem. Ugh. No, the fucking stop chip. <sighs> I think I understand what the problem is now. Watch this shit. Okay. Watching, watching. This is me pushing dash and then pushing jump. Alright. This is me... And the meanwhile, this is me doing dash uh, just by pressing left and right really fast. And then jumping. You notice the difference there? Uh, yeah, one, one you jumped, one you didn't. When I push... Too fast. When I push dash, and I just push the jump button, the dedicated jump button, it stops and then I jump. But when I do it the other way... I jump forward, 
as without stopping, without the momentum dropping. Let me see if I well, can. I'm using, I'm using dash button now. I wonder if it's. Wait, whoa, whoa, sit still for a second. Sit still for a second. Oh. Oh, okay. I understand what the problem is. If I dash forward while holding the left the left button and then push jump, it does it properly. But if I'm just holding dash and then push jump by itself, she stops and jumps straight up as opposed to jumping as opposed to jumping oh, you forward. Don't a, you don't have a direction, direction. input. Yeah. Okay. So that's just laziness on my part. I'm I'm pl I'm 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 playing sh I'm playing like shit. <laughs> okay. You, you're trying to play hitbox. Yeah. When it should be like that, bruh, how rude! Any any time now, game. Come on. Bimbo, I'm gonna cut you. <laughs> you? Nothing. Oh my god. Why am I garbage at this at guilty memes? Guilty memes. Fucking garbage at this game. Oh my Dirty. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Until you figure out how to use the click box and then like two weeks from now you're freaking celestial bloody ladder position number four in the world. I actually do wonder... It's obvious now that the fight stick I was using is... While a good fight stick for the price Baby and cap. great for no great for noobs is inferior to a dedicated fight stick like this, or the hardware is inferior. The there's an obvious difference in response time, and re and that kind of makes even though it's only even though it only is probably only like God knows how many milliseconds faster, it makes a huge difference. But it does make me wonder. How much of a better player I would be or appear to be with those limitations removed, you know? Because well, I noticed this like... also. Problem? I don't have birth. <laughs> what? You just hit me three times in the air. What the hell was that? I read our seed. Oh, I didn't even see the red RC. It just freaking mm. triple clonked me in the air. Mm. I had no burst, so I couldn't do my signature. Ow, 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 fuck, fuck. Bruh. Cringe. Cringe, 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 cringe. Stop oh, being cringe! <laughs> the cringe is real. I'm gonna I'm cringing so hard. I'm gonna cancel you now. There we go, oh, like I that. Did it too early. It actually went through you. Damn it, fucking Ugh. I think the yo-yo is so early up to the screen you were still on the ground. Oh mistake. Oh my god. Why did I do that, Vim? Why, why am I doing this to myself? Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh my god. Problem. What? Oh my god. That's not loud. That's not allowed. <laughs> That's not allowed. That's not allowed. What's wrong? I hit you from behind. <laughs> you hit me when I was up in the air. I was doing flippy floppies. I just as screen, and you still clipped me. Just as planned. Clip me with that anchor. I'll do a lot more than clip you with my anchors, if you know what I mean. No. Oh. <laughs> ah. No, Bye. fucking. Let me wall combo you, goddammit. Never. I am being shit right now, goddammit. Ah, fuck me. <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> Cancel. Bruh. Kill your friends. Guilt free. A black. <laughs> no, Orca, why have you failed me once more? God damn it. Bruh. Oh, my bust. That was... I don't think I've been able to get that to pull it off with my with the ape though. I don't think yeah. I could have. I would have been able. I don't think I've been able to do it cleanly enough. Just bruh. Bruh. Oh, that was a mistake. I'm a little bit vulnerable right now. You're vulnerable. What are you talking about? I'm the one that's vulnerable right uh, now. No, I I, I made mistakes. No. Oh my god. You have a huge opening to like. Oh my speed. fucking god. Yeah, I'll even I'll even set myself up for you to finish me. Yep, there it is. <laughs> what do you mean finish you? <laughs> for the orca! I had no burst! I fucked up my oh. burst. I used it super early on absolutely nothing. Oh. And I'm like, yeah, let me get close to you so I can get orchid into a drongo combo. Ow, that was quick. I will say that I feel like the hitbox lends itself to spa to uh, mashing buttons a little bit more, if only because you literally have nothing but buttons. And because it's so fucking fast, if I can just if I would just use use to this dash thing, my prop. God damn it, game. This is frustrating. This definitely requires some getting used to. He's got bashing, sprinting, dragon punched. <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting my face kicked in right now, and it does not feel good. Welcome to my world. My god. I feel I, like... I, I RC'd an RC. You RC'd twice in a row just to style on me. I see how it is. <laughs> Hey, I like purple, okay? Sure you do. Oh, I'm too early. Ow. <laughs> Problem? <laughs> you mad, bruh? Ow, God damn it! Oh, you no like that angle? God damn it. Ow. Bruh. Bruh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen you open with a punch in a very long time. And the one time I was doing cheeky buggers, you did it. It's kind of funny. I've just remembered oh, I have a punch button. You've, uh, you've just found out the most powerful feature of having a responsive controller. The fact that I can instantly do shit like this? 6p anything. Yeah. I also, I don't think I would have been able to do that Orca earlier in the middle of your combo string as effectively with, a le with my input though. I'm not sure, I'll have to try it with the other lever sticks, but that's, if there was ever, if there was ever proof that there's some latency differences between the 8-bit and the other sticks, it's, it's that. There's no way. It would have not registered nearly as quickly. Who goes there? We're being raided by... Tier Arcane Do Tearwolf, welcome to Femboys and Fight Sticks, oh, yeah. Tearwolf. We're doing some open lobbies, are doing some op strive open lobbies right now, and I am getting my ass repeatedly kicked over, kicked in, 
from trying to play using this uh, brand new uh, click box made by Vemboy here. Welcome to the stream. What were you up to? Can we get a exclamation point raid yeah. for Tier Wolf, please? Uh, if possible. We don't, uh, we don't have any discrepancies in our hardware, at least, because we're using quite literally the same identical uh, controller. Yeah, we're using I think the same. one's a little bit nicer because it's a tiny bit heavier. Yours is yours is half a kilo heavier, and it is also um no, not half a kilo, four hundred grams heavier, and yours is also a little bit better finished because you, yours is nicely sanded. Mine's <laughs> a little bit jagged on on the edge. I have a cold today, so I can only provide so much. But you had your fun. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Thank you for sharing your uh, chat with us or this evening. <laughs> Sorry that you have a cold right now, though. Do do do. If you are feeling up for it, you're more than welcome to hang out with us. Uh, hang out with us. We do have an open lobby and an open mic right now. Thank you. <coughs> Pizza oh, Tower. Oh, I. Got a copy of Pizza Tower myself. I need to check that out on in the. Pizza. We'll have to check that out on one of these coming Mondays, uh, since Mondays where we have oh, reserved for indie ready. games. Are you ready to rumble? And do it. 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 Push. Kill your friends. You won. Bruh, how dare That's you? How fucking... Rawr, rawr, I need to escape. How do I get the fuck out of... Fuck... God damn it. Oh my god. I need to... Once you play Pizza Tower, you won't experience the true fun until you go for those perfect runs. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Speaking of perfect runs, I just got perfected again. Thank you very much, Vimboy. Oh my god. My Okay. Okay, it's starting to hurt. Okay, okay, you made your point. <laughs> Bitch ass mother get the no. Oh my god. The oppression is real. Oh damn, busted out of a knockdown. Let's go! Bitch, I will cut one of you. These God is damn, go, oh, no. You. you were still high enough in the air for it to hit you. I thought it was going to go over the top. Oh my you. God. Damn. Yeah, see, the handicapping is real. <laughs> my fucking God, I'm getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> oh my yeah. fucking God. <laughs> yes, laugh all you can, Vemboy. Laugh all you can. For fuck's sake! Oh my god, stop! For fuck- Ah! This is like no contest now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! So in short, um, yeah, the clickbox, hitbox style fight sticks take some getting used to. Yeah. And by some, I mean a lot of getting used to because holy shit. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh, yes! What a gap. What an opening. Was, was that a feint? Did you just, did you just, oh my god. It was a gap. I saw it, and I went for it. I'm gonna make you a gap. Are you hope? Kill your friends. Guilt free. My fucking god. Have you been practicing lately? Oh, from the wall! Uh, no, only the only time I play Guilty Gear is with you. I've been making uh, fight sticks and their revisions and prototypes. 
Uh, okay. Then I'm just garbage. <laughs> no, I'm recovering from my illness as well. I think you've been dealing with me surviving the, the big C for like four or five weeks. Uh. Now that it's finally wearing off, I think energy is slowly coming back. So you're saying this whole time you've been playing on the master handicaps and one by one they're just falling they're just falling to the wayside. And to think, Pretty I still much. remember I still remember chat That's when I first got Venboy here into fighting games and he was certain that he wasn't going to stick with him for very long, like a week at best. And now it's been several months and he's literally selling fight sticks and Open the company that makes fight sticks. And you fucking the hell? Play. <laughs> you play like a fucking floor eight at least, bare oh, minimum skill. Floor floor. You play like a floor eight. I can't, Look. I can't find matches, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's the only problem. I can't find opponents. It's sort of like how Ventahack is a fucking god at Happy Chaos, but he is nerf. The the freaking the his internet is basically what's handicapping him. If he had decent internet, he would just annihilate anally annihilate everyone with Ew. But, uh, I'm gonna try using a different fight stick temporarily. Hey, uh, yo. One that you're, I gonna, you're gonna shamozzle your, uh, your brain by switching? Uh, you're gonna go not... full Nintendo on us and switch? It's not that much of a shamozzle. Um, oh, I'm... I'm going to... I'm not gonna talk about this fight stick this week. Probably the next Fanboy fight sticks I'll bring this one up but i'm going to i want to i'm curious about how this fight stick would work um so i'm going to plug this in on stream and hopefully i don't get uh banned from twitch or suspended for that matter for displaying uh for displaying this Bruh. it should relatively speaking be within twitch's guidelines still Bruh. <clears throat> You know what? This is really fucking light, too. This is actually lighter than the 8-bit, I'm kind of scared. Or maybe... No, it is really light. What the hell? Compared to the freaking... Compared to the click box, it almost feels cheap. It's not, um, uh... It's not heavier than my 8-bit, though. It also my looks like... My 8-bit, though, is like... 8 or 9 kilos now? <laughs> How do you connect this thing? Actually, where is the... Don't tell me that this thing is wireless. If it's wireless, there... how do you charge it? If it's wireless, how do you charge it? That's a good question, then. Oh, okay, so that's where the... Uh, I found where they keep where they hide the, the wires. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, and it looks like it's not... It looks like a... It's not a detachable wire, it's a connected one, so I would need to plug this in anyway. This is becoming more of a pain in the ass than I intended. Um, ah, uh, fuck. Do I want to deal with this right now? Eh. Let's set the apod dough to the side for a time be time being. We're gonna put it here underneath, underneath the. Uh... Oh, I see it has not red only red lights, but also uh, green lights as well. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cry, laugh and cry if this doesn't work on the PC. I'm fairly sure this is PC compatible as well. I could be wrong. Plug it in, nothing happens. Yeah. Well, we're going to see if that is the case. Nice little pre. Alright, so uh, we'll plug this in over here. Wait, is that supposed to be like some sort of an uwu stick? Uh, possibly. I am not gonna <laughs> possibly? say. Possibly. 
I'm not gonna say it's, what it's, kind of. I, it's off-brand stick. I don't think I can say what kind of stick it is on stream. It's it's off-brand. I'm pretty sure this stick, the the name of this stick is. Gale. Oh, the Twitch terms. Oh, Eel Gale. Yeah, I think I've heard of him. But it's certainly a stick of all time. My first was made a weirdest stick last year before I even was interested in fighting stick. But then I saw they were sunk in this at the same convention, so I figured, you know what? Hmm. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are going to use the We're going to use the stick. The um the uh stick. <laughs> After I reset my position really quick. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, it was indeed plug and play. It was me. It was indeed just some, um, quite literally, just plug it in and it would start working. However, it is very compared to the click box. It's very light. It actually, it's it's actually lighter than the Apido. It feels like it's just gonna fly. Like, I'm just going to shove it off of my desk. It also kind of could use some cleaning, uh, you could, perhaps. You could do what uh, what old mate at the uh, arcade shop said. What do you say? Get a G-clamp. It's a G-clamp. Just a thing to, to hold it down to your desk with. Oh, yeah? I'll hold you down. Garage. I'll hold you down to the desk. Are you home? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Kill your friends. You won. I'm not doing any better, am I? <laughs> it was kind of it was kind of hubri or uh, it was kind of uh, arrogant of me to think that just switching to a lever stick back to a lever stick would improve my gameplay performance in any way especially since I only just bought the stick recently as well so I don't know it's little idiosyncrasies but um it is certainly a stick of all time bruh wow I'm garbage at guilty gear man Bruh. I think I'm actually doing worse than I was doing with the hitbox. Or the click box. Sorry, not the hit box. Not the, uh, not the... Malde. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm actually doing worse. This was a bad idea. Here, boy. <laughs> this was a terrible idea. <laughs> I'm gonna rock the baby out of the corner, over the top of you. This stick is so different. I actually like the fact that all these sticks are so different from each other. They all have their own personality. They must be respected. You must treat the stick like the tools that they are. They are not toys. Bruh. You thought, yeah. bitch! You thought! You thought! You... Yeah, I, I fucked up. Hello. What's Bruh. Up? Oh my god. Disgusting. Ah. Absolutely disgusting. Oh. There's some input lag going on here. Okay. I see how it is. Imagine that my handmade, homemade board is faster You're... than uh, all these commercial products. Yeah, no fucking shit, right? I mean, Power of Arduino. To be fair, this is also for this particular brand. This is also a um, intro stick, so it's not going to be the same level as one of the more pricier, expensive, ver ver expensive variants. But still, I did not expect it to be quite this slow.
My god. I can't be I still can't believe I'm actually doing worse with the stick than I was with the click box. That's really sad. I'm just gonna turn in my gamer card now, chat. Yeah. So, so much for that. Um, <laughs> uh, we will review this stick later. This was meant to be first impressions of this thing, but unfortunately, this was a terrible first impression. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm actively doing worse using this, uh... You know, you know what the problem is? What's the problem? It's the yellow ball. What's the yellow ball have anything to do with it? Uh, it's, it's yellow. What's, what's that have to do with anything, though? Well, I don't know, put on a blue one, I bet you you'll win. All right. Do you want me to go get? I'll go get, fine, I'll go get the Ipatua again. Yeah. What do you think that? If you honestly think that makes a difference, I'll get the. I'll go go. I'll go get my main. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm getting. I'm getting my main. Get it? I'm getting my main stick. The slowest stick of them all. The slowest stick of them all ends up being the. The primo. tactical delay stick. Tactical. We'll call it the delay pedal. Well, musicians pay good money for a uh, delay equipment. Is that literally what those things are? <coughs> yeah, a delay pedal just makes everything <laughs> delayed. I like the fact that, well, I guess maybe it's either because it's a webcam and they can't be easily seen or because these things are technically not um, against Twitch terms of service, but I don't know. I must See, admit... The on your stick is what's making it feel sour. I must admit that I did purchase a stick mainly for the memes, not because I'm actually interested in the combat drone. But, um, at the same time, it is fairly... I know that Kamba is a fairly reliable brand, it's just that I didn't expect this stick to be so light. It feels like... it feels, ironically, like a toy. Like, um, the antithesis of what the, uh... Yeah, because you got a 1.4 kilo... Slim box basically next to it. Everything's gonna feel light. And not it's only that, but uh, it also costs twice as. Wait, actually, how much were you planning on retailing the uh, click box for? Uh, it's still being finalized. Okay, well, this was two hundred. It'll be somewhere in that sort of two twenty to three hundred range. But it depends on the customization, because you know it depends what people want on it. Yeah, if you want fair. your name and your logo and all the other stuff on it, then. Probably closer to the 300 mark. If you want the, the edition with the Pelican case, then a little bit more again. I definitely have some stuff to talk about, about the com combo drone. Uh, there's definitely some criticisms already for forming in my mind, unfortunately. But otherwise, um, as far as budget sticks go, I guess you get more budget, but this is... Nah, I need. To, that's not fair. I need to play with this more to have an idea of what to talk about and what to criticize and what to uh, praise about. Because I'm, the combo drone is not a bad stick by any stretch of the word. It's supposed to be one of the better budget options out there, even though there are still still better sticks. Combo drone, but um, we'll figure those out. First off, let me go ahead and get a stick that I. I know I sound like I am making excuses, but you'll just have to take my word for it. <laughs> but, lulz, what do you mean by old reliable? He pulls out the mad cat. He, they pull out the actual stick that's made for esports. This is what it's come to. Uh -huh. I actually played against you with this stick a few times already. Bruh. I'm not sure do that at the time though.
Here we go again, trying to remember how to cover this. Really need to memorize ready to use speed for time. See, I think what you need is just one computer per fight stick. It would make things so much easier. I, yep. I mean, not the worst thing I can do. Just pop, pop over to Micro Center and just be like, Oh yeah, can you help me build a, uh, a nice gaming PC? And then you get all the parts on a list. And you're like, oh, excellent. Now, can I have 20 of everything? And it's like, <laughs> excuse me, what? <laughs> I'll just write the, oh, I could pretty much just write them all off as business expenses. Okay, <laughs> come again? It's like, what are you building, a land center? It's like, no, 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 no. It's just like... I like to, I like to use different uh, different joysticks uh, for different games, but I hate plugging and unplugging them. So I just can have twenty computers. The lemon on your the, yeah, the lemon on your stick is what's making it feel so sour. Says Tear Wolf. <laughs> it's true. I mean, I, I just I just imagine like I invite some friends over to play some Guilty Gears, and we just go to this room full of these all these. Custom made built PCs, right? Imagine, imagine. All right. <laughs> Here we go. I love the fact that I just plug it in and immediately it automatically connects to the game and connects to guilty gears without having to fuck around with settings or anything the price of premium right there it's a shame that the te3 was apparently was by most accounts hot garbage but it's like you said um mad cats is dead and what moves in its corpse is not mad cats Oh, we God, good? the responsiveness is off the charge, too. We're good? Mm hmm, we're good. Sorry, I was daydreaming. No problem. You okay? It can be fun. Yeah, daydream. I kind of. I think I'll be bringing this uh, old school stick with me to the convention tomorrow. Could just plug this in. Sticks is real. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and bring the click box with me, too, just to see if it works, even though they only have PS3s up available instead of PS4s. Because no, it you works never with know. PS3. It works hmm? only with PS3 and PC. What? Bruh. Whatever horror is where I go. Mad Cats, I can't remember if they are good or bad of all I bought. They used to be one of the better ones, I would say. Faye, long time no see. How you doing? <laughs> no way, Femboy Fight Stick is real. You bet. I was actually, I'm showing off my fight sticks as we speak. Unfortunately, uh, they're not doing so much for my gameplay right now, but I'm not, it's not the fight sticks that are bad, it's just that I am trash. Um, although this does illustrate a huge point I wanted to make where every most fight sticks are fairly different from each other. So even if you practice a long time with one, you might get really good at that one fight stick. But when you try to switch to a different one, you do need to grow into it again because you'll have to relearn because it is going to be different from a sensitivity standpoint, from a size, the position of the buttons, pretty much everything. So... Even though you can approximately uh, play similarly to how you did with a previous one, you're still not going to play as well as you would have with one that you practice with for a long period of time. I remember there was a, there was this quote somewhere. I don't remember where, but it was something about the best fight stick is not the one that you left at home. It's the one. Uh, I remember reading that quote too. Actually, I think that might have been a Golden Lover quote. Maybe. So I remember reading it on someone's marketing page somewhere. Ah, 
I know best. Mm -hmm. I actually do have a Hori too, a small Hori that I found at the uh, local vintage game and music shop. I asked them if they had any, uh, if they happened to have a Power A fusion in stock, if anyone like, if they had a used one. And they said, we f we have one fight stick in stock and it's for a Nintendo Switch. Is that what you're looking for? So I got my hopes up and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take whatever that is. And they gave me a Hori min fight stick mini. I'm like, oh, that's not what I was looking for. But, you know, these are fairly nice to add to the collection and they're fairly cheap. Cheaply priced, not cheaply, not cheap quality. So you can already see that I'm definitely more at home with this one. Yeah. Because I'm actually winning again. Even though it's taking me a while. <laughs> Faye, how have you been? It's been a while. Yeah, uh, whatever. I feel like I don't need to do much to the stick to modify it either. All I really want is to add a two-pound spring. And change the uh, cover art and I'll be golden. Honestly. It still uses the original Sanwa parts, and I checked too, these are genuine Sanwa parts. No Chinese off-brand switches and shit this time. But, um... Got to Ali. Tearwolf has entered the room. Welcome to the stream, Tearwolf. Glad you could join us. Hey, Sar! Welcome to Femboys and Fight Sticks. How are you tonight? Hello. Hello. I'm joined tonight with Vemboy. Where are Sar Werewolf? If you would like to join us in voice chat, you're more than welcome to. We are currently live in the uh, voice chat on the uh, the general voice chat of the LOLs Discord. Your AC broke again. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Whoa. Playing MTG right now. How is that going? Problem. Oh, oh my god. No, I cannot activate whale. Problem. I was how did wait, no, how did we hit at the same time? What the fuck? Oh, no. Get thrown, ah. bitch. <laughs> Just about three games for today. I'm still low in strength due to the cold. Oh no problem. Let me finish the the slap. Let me finish my set with Vemboy, and then you can fight either of us. I'm currently handicapped because I'm not using my main stick, and Vemboy is uh reco has is recently removed his limiters, so he's at the top of his game right now. Bruh. MTG with your favorite deck. It's a very random deck, but it's won me before. Ah, oh, it's good to hear. Uh, you rolled back my super again. I yo. Ayo, who goes there? Natalie, thank you for the raid. Party of four. How are you doing today? Welcome to Femboys and Fight Sticks. The show where we talk about Fembo where we talk about fight sticks because okay. wait, no. The show where we show off where Femboys show off their fight sticks, Ayo. <laughs> I'm I'm something like that. What? I I don't I don't fucking know anymore. Uh, can we please get a shout out for or a exclamation point raid for Nathalie, please? Much it would be much appreciated. Uh, I don't know if Steel is still is that, in is chat. That gonna, is that how you're gonna win against me by making me do uh, mod commands? No, uh, no, of course not. Why would I would never? I would never um try to bullshit my way into an easier victory just because I insist on using fight sticks that I'm not trained on. No, of course not. Why would I, why would you think that? This is making me want to get the Ibido out, I swear to fucking god. <laughs> 
So, Nathalie, how have you been? Do I own a hitbox? I do not own a... I own a sus box. And I'll show you what that means, since I'm already going through each of my fight sticks in turn anyway. Let me go grab the sus box, the sus box out really quick. Mm -hmm. Play... You're gonna ban me from playing me? What the fuck? Alright, then who do you want me to play next? Because apparently I can't play me now. What am I fighting? Well, apparently not, I'm not allowed to play me tonight. Goryuki. Oh, you're playing against Tearwolf's Nagoriyuki. Good luck. Nagoriyuki. I don't know what he does. He does long slashes or something. Nago is scary. I only know how to play with Mei. Okay, I'll play with Brisket then. That's he. I can play Kai, I guess. A little bit. Pepsi man. Kill your friends. Kill free. That was cheeky, but didn't work. I heard Mixy Moon. Where? Moon. I don't know about Moon, but we are have we do have um we do have a Pepsi Man theme going on in the background. Oh terrible misclick on me. Oh, I dropped it. You're I literally it burning, twice. Natalie? Why are you burning? It's all bad at game. Oh, how is Stalker by the way, Natalie? Kill your friends. Free. Is this what you wanted me to play with, Sar? It's not exactly a uh, hitbox, but it's a hitbox like. It uses a hitbox chassis. But it uses a lever instead of buttons. Uh, yeah, it became comedy. <laughs> Indeed it did. Or did you mean Stalker became comedy? Problem. Slash. Oh, I shouldn't have cancelled that. <laughs> Excellent. Who am I fighting next? Uh... Oh, I think there's one more. One more to go. Mm-hmm. The hitbox is online. Well, the semi hitbox, I should say. Got him. Got burned by a mission, killed more by anomalies a lot, and almost died in gunfight. Got smited by zombies, and screamed in girly way when jumped by snorks. And now that's a mood of all time. While trying to show off that you're a badass. That sounds hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Well, thank you very much for the raid. Much appreciated. We're doing a different kind of stream tonight. We're doing a show, a pilot of a show I call Femboys and Fight Sticks, which is basically oh. where myself, a femboy, uh, shows off his fight sticks. I was actually reviewing Femboys' uh, recently built uh, custom fight stick known as the Click Box, showing that off. It was very fun to use. It's actually, I have it right here, in fact. Imagine my intro that is literal badass action movie. Mm -hmm. 
I can only imagine. This is uh, Vimboy's custom fight stick, by the way, that I was talking about. As you can see here, it's all buttons. It's a nice blue and pink coloration. Yeah, and then damn. the premise ends up like I'm a badass situation like B1 Battle Droids. And we are screaming in panic. I see. I see. Oh, okay. Shit. You know, I just oh. realized... Uh, Vembo, you don't play against Nago Yuriki, Nagoro Yuki's that often, do you? I've never played against anything but me. I wonder why. <laughs> that was not yes. my fault. Uh, was that the last one or is there one more? I think there's one more. That's, oh, failed to rematch. I wonder what's going on. Oh, no. Uh, uh connection loss or? Left. No, no, to your, to your left. I think it's your turn. Uh, it was 2-1 tier. Tier to, to tier. Okay. Unfortunately, I have to switch characters because I'm not allowed to play May now. So I'm mm. going to play... Uh, who the fuck am I going to play? I guess Steel will have to play May. That's fine. That's up to you, dude. Uh, who can I... There aren't many characters I can play in this game, to be totally honest with you. Um, I could play Soul Bad Guy badly and could play Kai Kiske okay-ish, I suppose. Uh, test. I could play test actually, not well, but I could play test. Three games for them, three for lulls. Sounds good. <laughs> nah, I mean I've played a bunch of car against them boy. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, Nathalie. You have a good night. Mm -hmm. My top three are Bridget, May, and Giovanna. Uh, my top three are probably May, Bridget, and... Uh, um, I honestly don't know who I put for a third. Like I said, there are very few characters I can actually play. But um, as far as characters I enjoy, that I like the design of, I think Biken's up there. I... As far as, like, in, in Zard, I really like Elfelt, in addition to May and uh, Dandy. Not Dandy, uh, what's his face? Slayer. I can't believe I leveled up from dying. People entering a stream for the first time be like, why the fuck is this testament coming in, or not zoning, and instead is just using nothing but close sl close slashes? Uh, I don't know, probably because I suck a testament. Nah, pro. Nah, pro. <laughs> pro. I should probably have picked Brisket, to be honest. I'm gonna. I'm not good at brisket either, but I am still marginally better at brisket than I am with, you know. So I don't know how to play Testament effectively from a close range, which you need to learn how to do, because she can handle both, or they can handle both relatively well, in my opinion. Also, Zone like Test has kind of to. Kind of does need to spam shit, more or less.
Bruh. Yeah, man, I can't play Tess at all. <laughs> it's like... There's some characters where sometimes it's not even... Sometimes, like, you just can't. You need to... You actually need to know what you're doing. You can't just fuck around with them. You can with the Shadows all the time because that's kind of the point of Shadows, where you can very easily learn their character movesets without having to think too much. But some characters... Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> Will the May ban lift soon? Um, has it been five minutes since they did that? No. Nah. No. I'm only saying no because I want to see brisket. Do you want to see me try and play brisket? Yep. It'll be marginally better than playing Testament. I'll say that much because I actually know the specials for brisket, but I don't know, like. The special stuff. I have not been watching Diaphone on the frequent. I'll play for the sake of respecting Tearwolf's time and or Tearwolf's time. I will play May against them for like one set before going back to playing Brisket because yeah. Left or right, Tearwolf? Yeah, five minutes are over anyway. Okay. Let's see how well I do playing me with this uh, not hitbox. The pseudo box. I call it the pseudo box. Kill your friends. Guilt free. Oop, oop, oop. I'm gonna regret losing that burst early, aren't I? Well, we'll see. That was a bad orca on my part. Oh, can I block it in time? Yep. The answer is yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> Kill your friends. Kill free. Ah, that was a failed dolphin. What the fuck? I could not grab you out of that? Was it because you were blocking? Hmm. Interesting. I thought I could grab you out of that. But I was... Unfortunately, sadly mistaken, and I have paid the price for it. And what a painful price it was.
I think skill notwithstanding, this is probably the stick I currently am mo the most comfortable with outside of the click box and outside of the 8 bit dough. Well, this and the uh, TE2, obviously. But still, I kind of would prefer the heavier spring for sure, just because I'm so used to the weight class, the uh, heaviness. But since the main difference between the two is only the fact that the spring is heavier, it's a lot easier to adapt to this one. If only because, well, I did use this basic Samo stick earlier, or bef before I started modding the Ape at Doe. Or at least what I thought was a basic, basic uh, Samo stick. Bruh, I got slapped out of the air. That's so rude. Oh my god. Grabbed. The memes are real. I Tatsugeki to my death. Bruh. Nice early dodge, though. Hiroshi, Lana, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Welcome to the Femboys and Fight Sticks uh, show. The show where Femboy talks about his fight sticks, talks about fight sticks. How are you doing this evening? Happy Femboy Friday. Oh my god. Don't want to leave it. I'm glad that so many people are showing up tonight. I was kind of afraid since I fucked up the timing. Then we had technical issues. I can't even stay up that late this evening because I got a tabletop RPG that we're going to be participating in tomorrow. But regardless, thank you so much to everyone for coming to my first episode of Femboys and Fight Sticks. We did kind of... I did kind of... um. Free, free format tonight, and I also had Vimboy here to talk about the uh, wonderful fight stick that they made for me. Which they're also going to be taking pre-orders for. I know that you had some reservations about advertising on my stream, but I, con I consider this more um, influencing people's decision to potentially check out your fine assortment of 3D printed products. Okay, fine. Give me money. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck do you mean give you money? <laughs> you have to pay me for the free ever for the advertisement, buddy. Oh, right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can use uh, code LOL's bottom for five percent off. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, I love you. <clears throat> anyway. Oh my fuck, I am s I'm screwed. Nope, I managed to block it. Happy Femboy Friday, doing great. I'm excited to hear about the fight sticks. I'm glad you are. Um, the VOD will be going up, but I probably want to edit this one for once before posting it on YouTube. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. So this is just a pilot episode, and I'm not. I had a. I had a very um, simple idea. I just wanted to do a show talking about fight sticks while being a fanboy, which, um, as you imagine, is not exactly the most complicated of ideas for a uh, internet show. So, um. It started off with me just uh, starting off with us just talking about the click box, which is the leverless fight stick that um, 
Vemboy made, which I'll show you really quick because it's really small, really adorable. As you can see here, it even has our initials L and V on there as well. It has no lover to speak of, it's just uh, nothing but buttons. It's very well put together. And over the course of the evening, I was just um, showing off, trying out different fight sticks as well. Showing off people my growing collection. Mm -hmm. Tearwolf, thank you very much for the games this evening. Always a pleasure to uh, fight with you. And um, yeah, that's pretty much been the whole evening. I've been molding because I am doing... I've basically gotten so used to using one my one fight stick that I'm apparently garbage at using the other ones now. <laughs> No problem. Uh, feel fr feel free to stop by and play fighting games whenever. Always ready. For, I'm always up for a force of three or fifty five or whatever you like. <laughs> uh, but other than that, we got a good seventeen minutes or so left of stream. Um, I don't see why we shouldn't just continue playing fighting games for the rest of the evening. What do you think, Vimbo? Are you up for that? Uh, whatever you like. Okay. Do you want me to switch back to the click box so I can get used to playing that, or do you want me to play? Do you want me to play again? Do you want to play against me using the iPad though? Hmm. No, I'm joking. Yeah, uh, do whatever you like. Hmm. Actually, since I'm just going down the line trying out all my fight sticks, I might as well dig out or try out the uh, Hori fight stick mini now. See what it's like. Give me a couple minutes here, chat, and I'll dig that out next. <laughs> mm -hmm. But lols, why do you have so many fight sticks? Oh, I have a problem. <laughs> I have a problem. I have a... Bruh. Bruh. I guess I'm being... Um, there's an interesting quote I heard that I read somewhere. I don't know if it was about VTubing or something else, but um, basically the idea is everyone is a little bit in solo. Everyone, every influencer, every great artist, content creator, whatever the fuck, is just a little bit insane, a little bit crazy. Because you kind of have to be to be obs to obsess over something so much that you make it your life's purpose to do that thing very well. Video gamers have video games, artists have paint arts, and, you know, uh, nerds have hobbies, I guess, or nerd stuff, I suppose. So, you kind of do have to obsess over things a little bit. You have to be a little bit nutty to do this stuff. And I think, I think the concept, uh, the first time I saw this concept was actually in the uh, game Needy Streamer Overdose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have a good night, Tearwolf. And the reason I say that is because, um, this is a mod spoiler. Something needs to be a little bit broken inside. Yeah, exactly, exactly. In that, this is a very mild spoiler. In the game, um, in the game, Needy Streamer Overdose, there's a mechanic where, uh, there's a sanity mechanic in the game, right? And if you allow the mechanic to, to allow the sanity meter to go too low, well, your character goes insane. However, what... In contrast to most games with sanity, sanity, sanity mechanics, it also Needy Streamer Overdose actually has a bad ending if you were to get too sane. And it's one of the most basic endings you can get, one of the first endings you'll get playing the game. Because most people think, oh, well, I'm going to max out my sanity meter because that's a good thing, right? But when you do, if you max out your sanity meter in that game, the game ends because the Needy Streamer, the girl, um, K Angel, K Angel, she literally quits being a VTuber. She straights up quits. She straights up says, uh, she tells her chat, I'm going to graduate. I'm going to go back to school and get my, get a degree. And as you can imagine, the first time people run into this ending, they're like going, what the fuck? That's why we kept her completely sane. And then the game ends with this quote. The I forgot the exact quote itself, but the quote went something like, um... Everyone needs to be a little bit crazy, don't you think? Or, there's such thing as being too sane, or something like that. 
Basically, she became dull. What the, 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 she lost the thing that made her unique, more or less. She had lost her passion for streaming and for content creation, and she was just going to be a normie like everyone else. And even though it kind of throws on its head the concept that, oh, in order to be a normal person, you have to do this, this, and this, and this, because she basically became boring. And sure, she's, like, stable, and she's on the world to being, you know, being, like, to, uh, being a um, classically good person, but what was lost in the process? And then you think about quotes like the uh, the if the famous um, the uh, famous uh, Robin Williams quote, where everyone has a little spark of madness and you mustn't lose it, and it kind of makes sense a little bit in that context. Because, honestly, have this in. I always forget which one is that. Oh my god. Oh, okay. There we go. You have to think... What even is sanity, right? Is it not something? Isn't is it not society that's determined shit like that? Why don't we just and once we get to a certain age, why don't we just determine shit like that for ourselves? Am I right? Also, wow, this is really light. I feel like this can break just by touching it. <laughs> it's also tiny as hell, but comfortable in a way. Oh. Oh, what the shit is this? Why are the... Oh, oh no. Check this out. Mm. The... The buttons are mapped weird. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, uh, this is gonna be... This is certainly gonna be a game of all time. Oh, that's Th not what I wanted to do. Modes? Um... The B and A are switched, and so are the X and Y. And for some reason. Because it's using so Nintendo it's using... slash Xbox layout versus the PlayStation layout. Mm -hmm. It's using the uh, Switch layout. It's using the, um, yeah. Which makes me think that I think the buttons are going to be mapped differently too, I'm betting. Bruh. But you know, this is actually kind of cute. I like how small it is. Bruh. Let me test out my controls really quick. Yep, uh, it reversed my... Yeah, it reversed my controls. <laughs> oh. Is there... That's not the... I don't even know which one of these things is the uh, start button. There is no start button on this thing, is there? Oh, dear. Well, this is certainly the fight stick of all time, isn't it? All right, let's. Uh, I will make an attempt to play. Okay, yeah. I I can't play like this. <laughs> well, I'll do my best, chat. The responsiveness is out of these out of this world, though. I do think that creators need something like that. I've never met a creator that made it that didn't have anything weird to them. They have to be unhinged just a bit. Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, ha. Just a little it bit. like May shouts, uh, Rohan. <laughs> Rohan. She actually does shout in English occasionally, you know. Just really rare. Donnie! 
she, she says Johnny. She says, uh, she says Chance. She says, um, she says a lot of stuff, actually. Okay, 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 we got your point. Okay. And now I will say the, this... This lever is extremely responsive. Hey, yo, we found That's one it. that works. Hey, the lever, yo. the lever is dumb levels are responsive. In fact, it's almost like, it's like clickbox level. I haven't. Oh, but we died. We will need to. Yeah, I need to go to the start menu so I can, re, remap my buttons so that I can actually use this. But there's no start and select button on this stick, which. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, no, I found it. I found it. Uh... Oh, okay. I found it. Yeah. What Finally. Or something? There there is none. <laughs> Where are they then? Um there's a plus and minus here, which I guess is the is that is the equivalent, right? Um Well, I mean if it works. Okay, game settings. Where's the where is the Where are the Game settings, room settings, edit room settings, disband notification. Oh my god! Uh, system. System settings, right? Oh, this button settings should be bad. Okay. Alright, um. So. Punch is A. Kick is Y. Da, uh, dash is B. Okay. Alright, the game is once again, is literally playable again. Okay. Something yeah. tells me I'll have to remap those again when I switch to it back to my stock controller, but you know what? Whatever. Yeah. Alright. A couple of seconds. But yeah, for a tiny, such a tiny, inexpensive stick, this thing... Maybe the other more expensive ones all have too much crap in them. Maybe. This is as bare bones as you can get. Return, this is a... return to monkey. Basics. This is about as basic as you can. This is about as basic as the Ape Do, except it uses quality parts from a, from not Ape Do but Hori, Hori Hayabusa, which is like one of the big, one of the big uh, fight stick manufacturers, along with Seimitsu, along with um, you know. I mean, if there's any doubts, you can kind of tell that there's a difference in, you know. I, I've lost the ability to talk right now, apparently. This however is the Nintendo Switch, so I can't use it for like the PS2 or any or for like the PS3 and PS4. But it does work Maybe as you can plainly see, fairly native on PC. I would definitely say I would definitely suggest a stick like this for people just getting into fighting games because it's very inexpensive. This cost me 50 bucks. I think it retails on Amazon for 40. But uh, you can also get the Mayflash, which is a lot bigger than this. It's uh, the Mayflash is about the size, a slightly bigger, a slightly taller than the Ape Do. It does not have bells and whistles because it is the most basic stick you can get, but fairly good quality. I think part of the reason it's such good quality, in fact, is the fact that it already comes stock with Sama parts. Hori stuff does not use some parts. They have they make their own internal. They make their own switches and buttons. Hori uses mainly mainly Hayabusa stuff, don't they? Yep, Hori Hayabusa is in fact the full name of the company. Oh, okay, well there you go. Mm -hmm. Ah. Me back out of super. Oh no! I went into super. Well, you 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 uh orchid me out of it again, mm -hmm. twice. Broken. I actually had burst. I could have popped out of it. 
How, how many times? Down! All right, all right. You know what? This confirms it. There, this this stick is actually superior to the 8-bit tail. Because there's no way I was able to perform that many Tatsugekis so cleanly just now. There's The responsiveness of the stick and these buttons is stupid. Stupidly good. When I try to do that with the 8-bit do, it fails every other... It fails like every three or so attempts. Ah! I lived. I thought I was dead. What? That's not a thing. You're not allowed. I would almost say this is as responsive as the click box. Yeah, but it's not as pretty. Ah. It's not not anywhere near as pretty. And it doesn't have as... And, well... It doesn't have as many bells as whistle and whistles. And it was not made with love and tenderness. By your significant other, so, you know, it doesn't have the sentimental value. I did pick this up, remember, I just picked this up because I just happened to find it at a used game store. In the back, literally buried a bunch of, under a bunch of crap that I had the cashier look for on a whim. Because I was like, hmm, you wouldn't happen to have any fight sticks just sitting in the back, would you? And they were like, yeah, we happen to have one. And it just happened where, to be, where, where be this fucking whore. I bought this at my local, like um... Op shop or something. No, I bought this at my local vintage, uh, vintage game, music, and, uh, nerd shit store. It was literally sitting under a bunch of, um, garbage. So it's like an op shop, but a, uh, a specialized op shop. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Hey, Sheikah, well, no, long like time a, no it's see. It's like a, um, it's like a, like a pawn shop. Uh, I guess similar concept. We have a lot of little shops like that in the States, to be honest. A lot of little mom and pop shops it's, that uh, sell a, uh, sell reused goods and stuff. It's cool merchant. It's where you sell your vendor trash to. Mm-hmm. In fact, the convention I go to, part of the reason I like going to this convention is because it's a, oh a local convention. So all of the places, all the vendors and stuff, are pretty much businesses that only located here and where I live. So I recognize all the faces and the people, and they recognize me because I've been there before, obviously. And I don't have to feel as bad about giving money to, like, a major corporation or some shit like that. I know these are going to people that live in the area. And they all pretty much run little shops like this. Uh, these little corner store type places. Um, where they sell used nerd shit. So, Shika, long time no see. Um, you're being killed by accounting. I'm sorry to hear that. It's been a while. I miss your... I miss you. <laughs> for lack of better words. Shika is one of the, my first senseis in Guilty Gear's Drive back when I first became a VTuber. More or less. Get in the corner. Wow, you miss you? Yeah, I do. Why is that surprising? <laughs> I wasn't being sarcastic or anything, and that's what you thought. Ah! Oh, you are so I mean, oh, you say. I honestly don't mind playing against people with high rollback. I mean, Femboy has hideously high rollback all the time. You don't see me complaining. I complain and, uh, all the time, though. Um, yeah, but I don't. <laughs> I mean, if you have free time, you're more than welcome to join our game. We're just, uh. I was doing some fight stick reviews earlier this evening, but now we're just uh, playing guilty guilty memes. Do you think I should be concerned? I pretty much just went through every fight stick in my inventory and talked about them when I was supposed to stretch this out over the course of like months. You didn't really like in depth talk about them. You just kind of tasted them. That's true. I mean, I was just kind of uh, showing them off. What I was planning on doing was like actually going to the research, going like researching their um, histories, their companies. What the fuck was no? Okay, you know what? That pisses me off. What the fuck was that? I did it so early that I didn't what? take the first tick. What the fuck was that? I did it so early. That that was. I bull saw it coming. I saw you inputting it, and I already popped burst. Knowing that it's gonna come, and it that, the first tick. That's fucking bullshit. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I got some accounting lessons to try to listen to. This stuff is hard. He won't give us the f PowerPoint. Rip. Aw. Well, you know where to find me. If you ever want to take some free time off of school to uh, play video. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. You got me with a DP. You got me with a DP, I see. I see how it is. You like being DP, don't you? I heard you liked, uh, I, I heard you were looking forward to a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I'll show you a stretch. Hey, yo. So yeah, um, that's what I was planning on doing. I was basically, I was basically doing glorified fight stick reviews, except as a femboy, because you know, every VTuber needs to have a gimmick, right? Uh, please like, uh, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> But yeah, this Give is one of subs or get out. This is one of uh, <laughs> many cute fight sticks that I am planning on reviewing and playing on stream. I actually have uh, at least one more coming that is coming in from the United Kingdom, because for some reason they have mysteriously vanished off the shelves off of literally every fucking retail store in this country, which is really saying something. I was really hoping Walmart or Target would have copies of it, sitting around Andre. somewhere. Yeah, Target. Uh, let me pull out the 8 bit though. I've played through every, every, pretty much every stick I have now. I might as well, right? Pajai. This time I will not forget where I plugged in my controller. I'm not gonna spend another 15 minutes just looking for this goddamn thing. You can't just reuse the same cord? Uh, that's the problem. That's the other problem. Um, uh, because these are cheap fight sticks. They don't oh, come they're, with... They're not detachable. They're not detachable, yeah. Well, the 8-bit is a cheap fight stick. The 8-bit is also 90 bucks. This is 50. Retails uh, for 40. I guess 8-bit is the cheap of the mid-tiers. Yeah. Like, um, as far as pure quality goes, I would say that this uh, Hayabusa has better responsiveness and buttons and levers than the 8-bit though, but the 8-bit though has more creature comforts, basically. You know what it reminds me of an old um, Cytec joysticks they used to make. And they were cheap as anything. But they were so good. Mm -hmm. They were literally like 45 bucks. And they were better than any HOTAS you could get for under 300. <laughs> and they had the little throttle integrated into it. It was like a thumb operated throttle. It had a whole bunch of hats on it. And it was like 45 bucks. It last forever. It had metal shaft. It was just great. I'll give you a middle shaft. I mean, what? Uh, yo. Uh, Gotta go now. Ah! Don't do what I just did and be a dumbass and uh, try to toss baby fights. That, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's fucking made of plastic. But uh, anyway. Mm. Let me go get She's the... gotta go. Me up. Oh. oh. Well, thank you for stopping by anyway, Ilana. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Happy you drop by. It was nice seeing y'all. Have a good night. Pa alam. <laughs> you know what? Pa alam was probably one of the first Tagalog words that I learned growing up, and yet I don't think I really hear anyone use that word. I think most people just say goodbye when they want to say goodbye in Tagalog. Tagalog. That was so cute. Ah, Lama. <laughs> I'm glad you thought so. Ah. You know what I just realized? You probably didn't know that I'm actually Filipino myself, did you? I'm Filipino-American, though. I was not born in the Philippines. <laughs> uh, Paalam's too formal, yes. It was like, I bid thee farewell. That's the, So that's the reason why I never hear anyone say Paalam. I bid thee farewell. Like, every time I say... I feel like I'm, I'm probably the only person that I know that even says Pa'alam. But every time I do so, people just like laugh. They're like, oh, uh, uh, yes, goodbye to you. Farewell, fare thee well to you as well. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a lot of Filipinos in Danger U, believe it or not. It's weird because Danger U is, has a stupidly large number of Southeast Asians in it. Many of whom are from the Philippines and uh, Singapore, surprisingly. But yes, I too am Filipino. Oh my um, god, imagine but, uh, being from planet Earth. But uh, anyway, uh, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by.
Blablabla. Not a fucking... Is it? No, there's no way. It's too thick. Before, that's what she's... No, that's what he said. <laughs> uh -huh. It was Senpai. It's too thick. I am? I'll just show you something that's too thick. I will say bye like a normal Filipino person. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> Have a good night. I'll be streaming again uh, about 12 hours from now. We're going to be playing some tabletop art role playing. That's going to be evening your time. So you're more than welcome to stop by if you like. Otherwise, uh, have a good weekend. What? You're doing another one after this? Yeah, that's why I can't stay too late tonight. So I'll actually have to wake up early for a, a tabletop collab. Oh, that's tomorrow. I thought you meant straight after this. No, not straight after this. God, no. <laughs> I will be going back to the convention hall tomorrow after my uh, collab's done, though. I want. I just need to decide which of these fight sticks to bring. Maybe I'll bring the TE2+, Plus so people think I'm some sort of pro MLG gamer, and then I'm going to fucking get 0 3 and they're going to be like, bruh. <laughs> Do it. I, I totally should. But... Do it, and then don't play anyone. Hmm. Yeah, they'll just. Like, no, I'll no, just no, like. No. I'll take one of the. I'll take one of You're the consoles. I'll take one of the consoles and just be playing by myself, and people will be like, "Whoa, is that a TE2? A Mad Cat's TE2 Plus?" And I'm like, "Yep." And they're like, like, like "No." And I'll be and I'll just like pretend I've been to Evo and some shit like that. Just, just, just say you know the, the You know it's the stupidest fucking thing. Um, the other day we had this uh, we had this um icebreaker game at work, via video chat, obviously. And we were supposed to do two... My controls are fucking... Sorry, oh. I, I, I have to get out of here. My controls are reversed again. Go. Because I didn't... Because I had to reverse them because of the... Yeah. How do you... Oh. Start and select. Don't do anything whilst in fight. Nope, they Guilty don't. Gear. People who designed this. Who's... It, well, why that's did a you weird make thing. it uncancelable? Yeah, I don't know, understand it either. You can cancel it in the console versions of the game, but not in the PC versions for some reason. So, I guess we'll just... Trying to fucking play this game... Ah! No, we'll, we'll just rock the baby. Yeah, we'll just... I'll rock your baby. I'm playing rock the baby only. Okay, rock my baby. Um... So, we were playing Two Truths and a Lie, and I submitted my Two Truths and a Lie, and my Two Truths and a Lie, my two truths and a lie were the following. I once DJed a friend's wedding. I won a, science fi I won a writing competition by writing a science fiction novel in a month, and I was the grand champion of EVO 2022. Oh, okay. Well, and guess which one of these is the lie? The lie is clearly the DJing part. You're deaf as a bat. Uh, no, that's wrong. That was actually that is true. I did I did actually <laughs> DJ a friend's wedding once when I or once. Just once. Yes, only once. Oh. But I love it. It makes a cool story for people, and I actually felt bad because I remember um, when I went there. I was not able to bring a. I was not able to afford and bring a wedding gift, and I was apologizing to my friend during the reception. And he looked, just gives me this look, like I'm crazy. And he's like, "Lulz, you literally DJed my wedding, and you also saved us hundreds of dollars off of what music that was played during the wedding reception because you pirated it up for us. <laughs> so as far as we're concerned, you pay. You didn't need to get us a wedding present because you already paid for it." What are all my like, presents to weddings anyway? So, um, everyone somehow guessed that the Evo 2022 one was the one that was a lie, and I was like, God damn it. I don't know how. I don't know what that is, so I'm These just gonna say that one. 
These people are boomers. They don't know what the fucking Evo, what Evo 2022 Fighting Game Championship is. But no, they all guessed that they all guessed that I was the lie somehow. <laughs> maybe I took the maybe I underestimated them, huh? They're uncanny. Maybe they're all investors. Secret investors. Investors in what? Gambling. Uh, maybe. Esport gamblers. Actually, where can I gamble on esport? The government here has just uh, started a huge anti-gambling campaign. I'm assuming a lot of people are doing it since everyone's, you know, tight for cash and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. So we, we're, we have advertising everywhere. Anti-gambling. And... I don't think you can yeah, gamble I on to, fighting I games, wanna, but... I want to gamble on... Uh, Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to give my money away to some sort of a fighting game charity, aka gamble uh, on. Games. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if I don't know if Daigo has a fighting game charity, but if there was ever one to have one, it'd probably be him. No, no, I mean gambling is a charity. I I, I give my money away with not uh, expecting nothing back, right? Oh. It's me talking shit about gambling. Oh, okay. You're making a joke. I understand now. Bruh. Oh. <laughs> that was cool. That was actually really cool. Oh, I cancelled, but not soon enough. Don't just run at me. What the hell is this? <laughs> hey, I'm operating on limited brain cells right now. So, sue me up. Whoa, that you, you turned that around? That's freaking goddamn. <laughs> what can I say? I'm using a stick that I feel comfortable with now. Although, for some fucking reason... <laughs> no! Okay. Oh, I almost went under it! <laughs> now I know it's the 8-bit though. Because there's no way that I fucked up the Orca th twice in a row just then. But I played so smoothly using the Hori and using the TE2. Like, oh, I thought I grabbed that. Or maybe it's just because the timings are different. I don't know. Either way, you know what? Apit the Apito, it's been a time. I'm eternally grateful to the Apito company for making a okay budget, okay budget fight stick. But I feel like it's time to mature into more professional no. equipment. I still want to add a two pound spring on. One of these other sticks, though. A more professional equipment being, uh, what, homemade? Homebrew? Yeah, more professional in the form of uh, Vemtech Applications Clickbox. I think we should name the uh, version to cl Clapbox, like Claptrap. The as in, CL4P. As in, like you're going to clap, clap some trap. cheeks? Yep. Oh, that was cute, but it didn't quite connect. Bruh. Problem? Uh, yeah, I, my input won't go through. I'm, I've I just attempted it like seven times. You're connecting with me! You're so far away! <laughs> I was just touching you with just a tip. <laughs> Just the tip. I wasn't even blocking it because I'm like, you're not no one near me. Bruh, the grabs are back. Yeah, I can actually. I have the cop. God damn it, Femboy. Oh my god. For. F oh my fucking god. Get out of here. Ah. <sighs> Use the force, me. That's not exactly what I was trying to go for, but you know what? No, I will take it. Works. <sighs> oh man. You know, I also noticed. Yep, drag dragon punch uh, start. Perfect. No, you are legitimately much, much better at Strive. Like, then, I'm, then I'm, I mean, I'm 
I am starting to burn out right now, but I can't use different fight sticks as an excuse anymore because I'm playing on my main fight stick. And I'm playing like oh. ass. Like unequivocally ass burg oh my god. Uh, I sense a gap, a disturbance in the force. Anally annihilated. No possibility of blocking whilst going diagonally down. Hog. Kill your I don't know why I can do the um, why I can do killing machines so much more consistently than the other super, considering they have identical input. I mean, sometimes it just that's just how it be, honestly. There's not always an answer to things like this, you know? Oh, that was nice, Juggle. Yeah, that was pretty good, actually. Rage mode's gonna activate in just a second here, I swear to god. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Bruh! You did not just <laughs> fucking burst, god, what the shit? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Okay. That's it. I'm playing this with- it's on my lap now. <laughs> it's on my lap now. I'm gonna try hard. Oh, I didn't think you would charge it that fast. Oh my gosh. You know what? I forgot who it was. There is a, a VTuber who suggested I learn how to play fight stick on my lap as opposed to on a table, because his point was you might not you might not always have a table of the correct height to play with when you go to locals. So you might as well learn how to play with it on your lap so you could play it anywhere. And I gotta say, he was he's got a point. It make his logic makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, of course. Because then this happens. Alright, time to switch back to the click box. Never. Except I'm going to play in the click box on my lap as well. I mean, you can if you want. All you have to Ooh. do is just replug the cable because it's you actually mm -hmm. have a cable that works. Yeah, I actually got a cable that can be used for this purpose. Be fed into the host. Uh, that reminds me, are you going to charge extra for the cable, or are you going to include it as part of the package price? Uh, it's probably going to be part of it. Mm. That makes sense. I'm reviewing which cables are going to go with it, but it should be part of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, do, do. Look, I don't see why not. Because i got a couple of different supplies for cables coming. I've got ones that have... Like these big thick cables that have uh, metal ends on them that look really like super industrial. I kind of mm -hmm. like them, but I don't know how nice they'll feel. And then I've got your fabric woven cables. But we'll see which one's nicer. Uh, the ones that get included. Don't look or... For some reason, the only input that's working right now appears to be this uh, animation. I can't seem to move right now. Curious. Unplug it, plug it back in. Yeah, that's probably it. Bruh. <clears throat> what have you done? Uh Alright, so now the key now okay, the keyboard works. Maybe I should just play keyboard for shits and giggles since I haven't done that in a while. Nah. Is it working? Play... No, I switched to keyboard. Let me try plugging the click box in now. Hmm. Uh. Bruh. Cringe. Let me get the steam really quick. Settings. 
controller. Maybe the maybe the game being unhappy with too many different controllers. Well, according to Steam, it is according to Steam, the controller is in fact plugged in and is in fact active. It probably is the game just being like, you know what, fuck you. Uh undisconnects all the buttons of your uh it does fight it with stick. the eight bit from time to time too. Yeah, it does that with eight bit. Like if you don't turn it on after after the game's opened, then it kind of dies. It's probably going to work if I just give it a bit, or just like wait. Okay, up. Oh. So, again? when I move, when I jiggle the keyboard, the keyboard works, obviously. Um, it switches the keys to the Xbox controller keys, but they still don't. Ah, well, it's good that we're working out these kinks now instead of later, honestly. Hmm. I don't know. Wait, I.O.? Why does no. this part work? Aha! Alright, I got it to work. I was able to get to the start button somehow, and I was able to fuck with it. Alright. Weird. Alright. Face stuck, face stuck. Face stuck, face stuck. Kill your friends. Do one. Bruh. 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 Woof, 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 woof. I was able to beat you using the clickbox for once, huh? But I had a, I had an advantage, Bruh. I'll show you an advantage. Oh shit. Oh my god, so many misclicks. <clears throat> what? Bruh. DP? Cringe. I think that's the first time I ever beat you using a click box tonight. No. Huh? You've done it a few times now. I have? Yeah, when may we I first just, started. May I just didn't notice. It definitely feels a lot easier to use the click box when it's on my lap than it is on the table. What? That's for sure. Problem? Only a small one. Oh, really? I'll show you a problem. Do the fucking input game, come on. Please, for fuck's sake. Oh my god.
It mixed. Boy. Wow. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That was actually pretty good. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> that, however, was not pretty good. It was, it was oh my it fucking god! Invaded you right in. Oh my yeah. fucking god! Rawr. <laughs> are you kissing me? Is that what we're doing? We're doing the gay Maybe. shit to now? Yep, we're doing the gay shit. Oh yeah. Oh, Full yeah. frontal. Bruh. Mauled and seethe. Ooh, okay. Bruh. Oh, thanks for putting yourself in the corner. God damn it. Wow, you burst out of that. Good. You knew I was coming. You knew I was cooking, didn't you? Oh, god damn it. You know oh what? Oh my gosh, I just can't do it. <laughs> I think using a click box dis 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 um what's the word? Disin disincentivizes abusing jumping attacks because it's not intuitive to press the jump button. At least not for me. I'm finding it difficult to use the jump button. Did the music just fucking stop? Yep. No. I just cannot do my supers anymore. I have mm. lost the ability. You're probably just tired. Why did I waste my burst so early? I'm fucking dumb. Oh my god. Bruh. Cancer in a can. Kill your friends. Guilt free. Mm. That was that was a little bit on the quick end of things. I'll show you a quick end. God damn it, Finboy. Yes! Ah! High five! Uh, well, I've been anally annihilated. <laughs> this is the final game of the night. Bye. We are both evenly matched, well, except that I don't know how to use the click box properly. And. Them boys at the top of their game. This can determine who will be topping this evening. Oh, too early. What? Bruh. 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 Oh, you like that one? Not very much, thank you. No! Oh no. That Get baited, bitch. And I Kara cancelled into that ult. By accident, by the way. Wasn't quite <laughs> fully intentional. Oh, really? Yeah. Bruh, I thought I was supposed to be able to grab you out of that. 
But no. Yeah, you can, but you have to be already standing up for that to happen, I think. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Shit. Ow, I've been sat on. Thank you very much. That game, I guess I'm topping tonight, Vimboy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, but with that, whew, that has certainly been the game of all time. No answer be, from host. No. Be sure to chime it to uh, tune in to more Femboys and fight sticks at a later date, not next week, uh, but certainly a date in the near future. Uh, thank you for everyone for tolerating our zaniness this evening. It seemed like most of you enjoyed it. I'll definitely be practicing more of this clickbox because it is a, it was it's simply a joy to use. There's no. You guys click 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 click. Well, not only that, but everything else about it is you. I don't. You just sort of intuitively made something that's. I mean. Look, if someone like me can enjoy using this, I'm sure other uh, more serious, quote-unquote, uh, fighting game influencers, etc. would possibly enjoy this as well. I was not kidding when I said that we should, when I was talking about how we should consider, or I should consider talking or uh, talking to, um, what's his face, Mr. Sujano about possibly um, trying out the stick. I think he would at least be attracted to the fact that it looks fairly unique compared to some sticks, because I showed you that show he did where he pretty much just reviews, you know, interesting looking fight sticks, more or less. Well, I mean, I like it better than all the commercial sticks I've got, too. And it's not just because I made it. Like, it's just, I like it better. I play better with it. It feels better. It yeah, goes it feels click, 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 great. Click. I mean, I feel like once I get over my handicap with the uh, trying to deal, trying to work around the whole uh, space bar issue, I feel like it would be second nature for me to play as well, honestly. Yep. So it's just uh, it's just yep. practice, like anything else, really. My hands are tired. Yeah, I'm getting tired too. What time is it anyway? Um. So I have to wake up at around. Frick. Shit, I don't know what time my uh, collab is tomorrow at. Or tomorrow, or tomorrow is at. That's kind of important. It could be, it could be. God damn it. Um, I think God tomorrow's dying. stream is... I think... To... Can you make the four dates it would be at april 22 2023 at noon my time is it still gonna be noon tomorrow i'm just going to assume it's gonna be noon tomorrow i'll wake up early i need i know i'll wake up early and check in we'll need to check in like half an hour early anyway just for setup and i will of course let twitter know if we're going live or not so sometime around that's a good maybe around 11 or 10 or 11 hours from now will be our collab so if y'all would like to watch that and uh, watch that more than welcome to you um and otherwise we will reconvene on monday thank you for coming to tonight's stream let's find someone to raid <laughs> Who we got here on the docket tonight, chat? Probably someone fighting game related would be best, right? 
Um, is anyone playing fighting games tonight? Uh... Let's see, we haven't raid, raided Mai in a while. She's playing Madfather at the moment, which is a kind of RPG maker type, or type game that I played before. However, Zen no Kiseki is playing Guilty Gear's Try, which we literally just got off of. And then they're going to be doing the SF6 data or demo later. Hmm. That's not the worst idea. We'll go ahead and raid them tonight. For tonight's raid message, we're going to go ahead and do... We'll be using Blame the Memes tonight, chat. It shall certainly be... Thank you once again to everyone for coming, and I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> oh, the smell of the...